I'm just saying it's a waffle. As a waffle, it's absolutely obnoxious. Hey, this is just a song that fits in between genres. We're really trying to tell you that we're down home folks without saying we're country because we don't want the connotation of being good old boys. I trade this my my truck for a, a for an iPhone one. Turns out it was stolen and no longer works. <laughs> Fear with what may or may not be a cursed weapon. She didn't care when freaking a demon was in our party. How was she gonna crap about a cursed that's act? Funny, that's funny. funny. What are you doing? Oh my god! What in the world what is happening? This is why we did say it coming, just for these kind of moments right here. Why? It's good. I like it. It's okay. Really well, I don't know why we're talking about it right now. Okay, here we go. You're listening to Satan Common, where we talk about it all, not just Dungeons and Dragons. I'm AJ Cannon. Seth Temple. Tyrell Merle. Yeah. I think this is episode 41. Okay. I don't know why I was saying that. I was just thinking, for on the 41st time, we don't even have to say, hey, then remember, I'm going to, yeah. what the order is. It's like we a got. bike, man. Yeah. Um, so, we're going to be uh, doing a little special stuff today. Some call-ins with Anthony and Dustin when we figure out what we're going to do uh, for that. But anyway, that's to come, coming up shortly. And as always, this episode is brought to you by Tiger Skull RPG. Tiger Skull! And I think he's been on a little brief hiatus, but uh, just go ahead and give him a follow for when more stuff comes out. Uh, you can be notified and go check out everything at TigerSkullRPG.com and use our code COMMONERS30 for 30% off everything. There's some cool merch in there that I think is new. Uh two or three different t-shirt styles that has some nice graphics on them. So go check those out and uh, give them some support. Also, follow us on all the platforms, Instagram, Facebook, Twitch, YouTube. Uh, we do streams on Twitch Mondays and Fridays at 7 to 9. And, uh, yeah, Dustin puts stuff on YouTube all the time. We can ask him about that later because I don't even know what all goes on there. But I know Seth's been putting some Red Dead on there. Yeah, a while back ago, but yeah. People have been watching. I was looking at some of our views. Our our table view has over 6,000 views now. 6,000? 6, 6.3K. Hey, thanks for the views, folks. And yeah, I saw your Red Dead stuff had more views than... It had, it had like 20, 30. Yeah. yeah. Not Which, bad. Which, everything that we've got, it's got multiples of 10. Like, yeah. every video has got... So we've got 10 people <laughs> constantly <laughs> watching it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we got like 60-something for subscribers. Send us to 100, folks. 100 subscribers would be cool. Yeah. And uh, we're gaining some followers on Twitch usually when we play. We're up to almost 40. Whoa. So. Wow. And I, I have been a little bit disappointed because I thought we were going to go over 10,000 listens on the podcast this year, but we haven't put anything out in two or three months. Yeah. So if we had stayed on schedule, that would have happened, but we're right at like 9,500 okay. and didn't didn't quite make it. Um, but we'll probably surpass 9,500 with, with this episode. Uh, so thanks for the listens. As I mentioned in my announcement and everything, we grew a lot last year, so hopefully we can do that again this year. And uh, we're playing on what day? The 20th? 20th. Hopefully, cross your Two fingers. Two weeks from today. Two weeks from today. And, yeah, new episode, which segues us perfectly into... Uh, keeping it common. Keeping it common. That's what it's called. Maybe not so much like a bicycle. <laughs> yeah, keeping it common, uh, where we talk about our last games. Well, game or games, but I think we've done two or three games without an episode of Satan Common. So had we? I thought that we did a Satan Common on the way to we, Tate's, and that was like the game before last. I don't know. Maybe I don't know. Not sure. I didn't but feel like it was that long. We did a yeah, we did it on the road. It was me, you, Tyrell, and Kyle, I believe. And then there was one, another one that had Dustin in it. Uh, that was the one before this one. Episode forty had had all five of us, and maybe that was at Kyle's. Maybe it was. I yeah, think we did yeah, one yeah. at Kyle's. So yeah, maybe the game before last. Anyway, lots been going on. Let's refresh the people. Yeah. Y'all are still in Galeport. <laughs> Imagine that. The whole game takes place in Galeport. It don't feel like that to me. It it really doesn't. Like No, I mean a lot we've of spent stuff. Like two years in Galeport. A lot of that. stuff happened leading up to Galeport. And then with it just being such a big part of the story. I remember being so worried that we were st spending too much time in the academy. Like, we've got to get oh, out really? of here. We've got to we get the story going. Like five or six five episodes. Five or six episodes. 
still that was a great story yeah. part of the story we could have probably stayed there longer but we could have but i mean it, it progressed like it should have yeah. i mean which i feel like this is progressing like we're we're moving forward in yeah. galeport it's just a lot of stuff has to happen i thought that the, the academy is really short but now, now that i think about it i wasn't there for one of the episodes too yeah That's, oh yeah missing. me and tyrell were gone and, yeah. and Wow. Yeah, that was a lot. <laughs> How long ago have y'all been on a mission trip? Since then? Yeah, that was the last that one was the last we went one. on. Oh, I, 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 didn't, I don't think I went on any after that one. I don't think. I, I, have, I haven't either. I mean, that was three years ago, I think. Yeah. Good Lord. Maybe this may be the fourth. Yeah. Um, no, maybe this is the third. Either way. I mean, we've been doing the campaign since 19. Started in the fall of 19. And it's 2024. Yeah, so we're four, four years. Four full years going on five. Wow. And we've only done 40-something episodes. Yeah. That's not too bad. Ten a year. I mean, it's pitiful compared to, you know, the... People that do that as a full-time job. Every Thursday, you know. People that do that as a full-time job and live right next to each other. crazy, stupid amounts of money for it. And we got got guys driving two or three hours to meet up and play, so it's a little bit more complicated for us. No, I'm proud of us. Just in that moment, I was like, we have... We have kept our core people. Like we have, yeah. we have, and that's impressive. We've really grinded it out. Yeah. <laughs> it's been a grind, <laughs> <laughs> but we've stuck with it. Yeah, and so have the listeners. And I, 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 I have every intention of finishing this campaign and hopefully starting another one. Okay, good. Yeah, maybe it'll one of these days turn into something where we can afford to put more effort and time into it. Probably mm. won't, but it's fun, anyways. I'll tell you, I, 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 we're not keeping it common right now, but I miss the old folks' home. That made we were so yeah. good at the old folks' home. It was perfect. So good. I know it ruined that ruined everything. It really put a monkey wrench in our. I mean, operation. we were once a month for sure. Yep. Because it was it, just the fact that we was able to put it on the calendar. Which I mean, things happen. We had games planned on the calendar for November, and we just pretty much decided not to do one in December and. I mean, life happens. It happens. We're all adults. And when so when I'm ones. not uh, traveling to Oklahoma, I know mm-hmm. I'm throwing a, a monkey wrench in it a lot. Nah. Cause, well, that, I've got two weekends out of a month that I can't do anything. If you need to answer, I can. Your kid's sick. She's. You want to plug it in over here for the people? <laughs> hey, sissy. Hey. She looks completely different than she did at Children's. Look at her eyes. They look better. Yep. She does look a lot better. Different. That's good. She may have just needed all that junk sucked out. Yeah, maybe. That may have been putting so much pressure on her face. Mm-hmm. That may have been why her eyes were swollen and red and all that gunk was coming out. And... Oh, do you have a bunch of crap in her nose? Wait, they they sucked out her mucus and, like, they suck, They have a wall sucker and it was sucking blood and stuff. Ew, yeah, man. Was yeah, swollen. that's bad. Yeah, I'm glad she's looking better. She is definitely looking better. Her eyes don't even look red. Yeah. They were like bloodshot at the hospital. Compared to what she looked like at the hospital, she looks like a different baby. Yep. Yeah. So that's good. That is good. Alright. All right. Love you. Bye. Um where were we? Keeping no, it common. Old folks home. Yeah, old folks home. home yeah. You missed the old folks oh, home. Oh yeah, and I was saying Yeah, I've got I've got two week- weekends a month. That are reserved. Is it is it is it come is it about to come to an end? Do we have a end date in sight? I mean, not a date. But oh, okay, maybe. Um, but yeah, once that's not going on anymore, then I'll be a lot more free on the weekends. And this last year we had so many shows. This year we may have some too, but we haven't in the last couple months. But I've still been extremely busy. What? Well, maybe we need to do common life first because <laughs> I went to New York. Yep. <clears throat> at the same time as Dexter almost yeah we almost crossed paths in New York I had yeah. no idea um <laughs> Christmas Dexter he, he he set a date he's got a date going he, they, he got engaged in New York and uh he's getting married in May 28th or something okay May 28th good for him yeah. good for Dexter good for Dexter good for Annie how long has he been dating her Halfway through last year, maybe, 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 maybe about a year. Year, yeah. I couldn't remember. I I don't think I knew he was dating anybody. Of course, I don't see him that much either. Yeah. Now, well, now hopefully I guess I'll we see will now. Yeah. I feel like I see him a lot, but I guess I don't really. 
Um, yeah, what what has everybody else had going on? Christmas, Thanksgiving, yeah, New Christmas. Year's. Yep. Which is working. Our, our Christmas was kind of canceled due to everybody having COVID. So. Oh, really? Yeah. The whole family caught it? Well, yeah, y'all we had it rough over there. Does your family not know COVID's not a thing anymore? <laughs> well, we kind of just didn't have it because we had just got over it. For yeah. the most part, we didn't want everybody coming to our house and stuff like that. So, so we're supposed to have it this Wednesday. Oh, Wednesday. okay. There you go. Yeah, it's going around. All kinds of sickness going around. Plus, my oh, brother. My uh, kids have been sick for the past year, and I've only had my daughter for like six months. But she's been sick the whole time. <laughs> sick babies. Sick babies. It's horrible. I'm not getting sick, though, which is weird because Cynthia says that I'm the biggest baby of them all, but I've just not been, I've not been getting it. I'm best, maybe. Yeah. I, haven't been, I haven't been sick, really. I had a weird, like, uh, I don't know if it's a stomach bug or what. It was like one day. And I just was like dizzy, couldn't couldn't eat, and laying in bed all day, and uh, threw up one time. And then I just had a fever on and off for like three days, two days. It was pretty. I felt pretty miserable, but I didn't have any kind of head congestion, nose running, coughing, nothing. I just had a fever, and my stomach was messed up. Weird. Our COVID stuff. It started. My dad, I guess, apparently got it somewhere there at work, and he brought it home. And then the, he didn't realize that he had it. He didn't. He wasn't even showing any symptoms or anything. And that was the day before we took my grandma over there to have a, a stents and stuff put in. And we left and we went to the hospital. But like before we left, we got up at like five o'clock in the morning, and my dad had woke up and he had like a runny nose that morning. And we didn't think too much about it. And then when we went over there to Little Rock. He called my mom. It was probably about three o'clock or so in the evening, and he said that like he wasn't feeling good and stuff. So he went to the doctor and got tested. And he, while you were at the hospital, yeah, and he was positive. So we were all already exposed. Yeah. So we all ended up with it. <laughs> it's a year ago since I was in the hospital dying right now. Oh really? Yep. That January seems like it was longer ago than that. Uh, now your phone's going off. Who? Oh. Hi, I'm in the middle of recording a podcast. What are you doing? I'm sorry, I didn't know you were doing that. I told you. Oh, no, you can talk for the next two or three minutes. It's fine. fine. Seth says you can go ahead and talk because his wife wife just called him. She always does. It's a a tradition tradition. for her to call in the middle of the podcast. Okay, well, I'll let you go because I didn't know you were doing it right now. I thought you were just ignoring me on purpose. No, I didn't even see a message. Or an accident. Sorry, that's the word. I'll text okay, you back. I'm about to go to the hockey game, so I was just calling. Goodbye. Okay, yeah, have fun. Love you, too. AJ, who was that on the podcast just now? <laughs> I'll cut all that out. Won't even oh, know. you won't cut out my wife's probably. <laughs> <laughs> I might some of it. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, yeah, that's my lovely lady. Brianna, the third Brianna the third of the Brianna commoners of the group. group. And, uh, yeah, the, a lot of the people know her because she gets on the Twitch stream a lot and says how good I look in front of everybody. But, uh, yeah. I should have done that yet, last night. Good grief. Said how cute I Drop was. Drop the ball. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, anyway, yeah, common life. Maybe Anthony will have yeah, something Yeah, a year ago I was dying. Life, That's what you, I was you were saying. dying a yeah. year ago. Yeah. That seems like longer ago. It does. feels like a long, long time ago. It's been... Last year kind of flew by, but... It also drug on. Drug on. Yeah, it's weird. Twenty twenty three was not a good year. I didn't not. Everyone time. hated twenty twenty two. I hated twenty twenty three. What did you hate twenty twenty three for? I mean, I ended. I started it in the hospital. Yeah. Uh, Cynthia's sister. Oh yeah, I forgot but that. I did. Last I did have an embryon, so that's a blessing. Yeah, you had a kid. Yeah, can't be too bad. The last three years have been. <laughs> Let's get on to 2030. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. The 2020s are not going well. It's kind of a kind of a weird 2023 to me. You spent most of it driving back and forth to Tulsa and playing shows and just a busy one, huh? Yeah. You look back quit, on those. Quit my job last year yeah. in January, so it's almost almost a year. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, keeping it common. 
What do you think of Jules? I was going to say, ask us a question. What do you think of Jules? AJ knows it's got to be Quincy's mom. Quincy would never suspect that. Um, what do you think, Ty? It was Ty, I think. Mm. Thren hasn't met her or anything, so he no. wouldn't have a, an opinion. But uh, Well, we did fight them in the arena. Yeah, I mean, you know. Yeah, but, like, yeah I mean, he wouldn't know anything. Not formally ever. introduced. Yeah, no. He wouldn't really even know what to think about her other than think of her, I guess, as an enemy for the the uh, other group there. Yeah. Uh, I, I think it's... I don't know why she... I mean, she wouldn't care unless she knew me somehow. So she's got to be my mom. But would I, does Quincy recognize her at all? Like, does she? Quincy never met her mom. Does she, does she resemble like him? Or I don't know. and she said that she has game? gambling debts. Where's Where is Quincy Potcher Jr.? Is he still alive? I don't know. Well, Quincy doesn't know it's his mom, so he wouldn't ask. Right, but. Yeah, she's telling us, telling Judy, me yeah. to get out of town. She doesn't care about anybody else. I think she's an interesting character. I was hoping I could sway her to help us, maybe. Because if we can kill Stefan, she's free to do as she wishes. Maybe, yeah. But all, all she she just said she owes him money. She she implied there was some sort of life debt that she owes him. Yeah, yeah. but how could that? He saved her life. Well, I busted don't, her I don't out know. of jail. She she implied that she. Was unable, like incapable, yeah, of well, maybe turning she signed against a pact him. with him or something. Maybe that's kind of what. In a world where is he Jax? <laughs> <laughs> in a world where you can have warlocks who sign their souls away to uh, to demons, then it might not be so weird that she is she is more than just indebted to him. Yeah, I didn't think about that. Well, we <laughs> thought that maybe Stefan could be Jax's new champion, but what if? Stefan was like an embodiment of Jax, and he started this whole thing so he could get Urist out of out of Hollyhead and doing his will. That's why I come to Satan Commons so I can get cool story ideas. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I don't, I don't know Quincy. Quincy'd still like if they got in a fight, he would kill her and not feel any remorse about it. Like he doesn't know mm-hmm. her. Um, and that'd be fun. I mean, I'm not saying yes or no to anything. And I don't think. I mean. Are you? Is that your way of telling us? Yeah, y'all should leave town because no. I don't think we're going to. Nothing I, my NPC say is not me trying to tell you okay. to do anything. Now, I I think we have encountered the impossible so many times. I don't think any of our characters are scared of marching into that castle and trying to destroy them. Yeah, if we have to. My way of telling you to leave town is like if you go way back to like episode five or six or something after y'all have already taken care of all the zombies, and you're like, "There's still a mystery here." I'm like, "You can't find a mystery here." <laughs> <laughs> That's how I tell you to leave town. But no, an NPC oh, telling you you need to leave town, that's that's a red herring for sure. Okay. Yeah, I, I do like how I think the, like, we're at the, this point where the batteries know exactly where they are, but they know they can't just walk in there and do anything yeah. to us. And we're just, like, challenging them to try. It's a precarious know? situation. Like... Well, really, it's uh, we're just waiting on y'all to make a decision. Are y'all going to invade, or are y'all going to set up a base and try to defend? Well, at first, I thought we were going to invade, but uh, now it seems we're playing the defense side. I'm, I'm very interested to see what this network of tunnels has in store, if we can even find the castle. I'm wondering if they've got ways up above the surface everywhere. There could be... Anybody that's a vampire might have an entrance to that tunnel in their basement. They can walk on walls and they could fly. I mean, so they wouldn't probably need tunnels, would they? Or are you saying? I mean, I'm just saying, like, they, could, they don't have to have like an access to like that'd be like what we would consider regular yeah. stairs. They yeah, that's true. Have like a, but if they wanted like to be more discreet, if they wanted to parade twenty children, they couldn't do it through the streets. They could. They'd have to do it through the tunnel. Yeah. But those people that we saw down there didn't come from the orphanage. They came from somewhere else, mm-hmm. and they didn't come down the path we're on. So either they came from the castle and we're going the wrong way, or we're going towards the castle and they came from somewhere else. So maybe we shouldn't kill them when we need to ask them questions. I don't know. And I don't know if they're vampires. They could just be people working for Bathory. But I got a feeling there's probably a lot of vampires. 
And we discussed in game last game that we can't ever do anything about that. Like, there's always going to be vampires. It's not necessarily the worst thing. Yeah. You can't kill them all. Kill them all with it. What? <laughs> it's rap god. Oh, rap oh, yeah. god again. <laughs> But I, I'm interested to see what else is down that tunnel. Um, I wanted something I remembered. Like y'all are like we're just randomly we're gonna go ex- explore the tunnels. Was, okay, I didn't know y'all were gonna do that, but okay. And then y'all get frustrated when they're booby trapped. <laughs> well, how it, dare Seth booby trap these tunnels that clearly would be booby trapped? I mean, if the batteries well, know you're there, know you have entra- I like, like I like the giant rune. I thought that was really cool. It was the rune trap. Yeah. I mean, they were just doing a ton of damage. We couldn't get through there, and we tried to disarm one, and we all about died. And what's really funny is like, I decided the first one. Okay, going. first one's classic fireball, and then y'all are being safer on the second one. But I already made it in my mind. It's not going to be fireball. It's going to be an electric. So they're going to vary. And y'all just happened to get like I asked y'all the distance y'all were standing. Y'all were right at the verge of it. Like it seems like I was trying to be mean, but I'd already like found out what I was going to do. When yeah. I knew that there was going to be traps in there, and what was that lightning spell? Just lightning, chain lightning, chain lightning, chain lightning, chain lightning in a in a rune trap. Yep. I thought it was like glyph of warding when you first were talking about it, but the giant rune actually is a lot more interesting. Runes are going to come up here in a little. Like the reason that was fresh on my mind is for a reason that y'all was going to find out soon enough. Hmm. Maybe in the thing about game. runes. Yeah. Interesting. We need to. We want to invade, and we were going to wait until the slake to do it. Mm-hmm. That was the last plan we had. So, like, y'all might be ready soon. Yeah. Like, y'all, I mean, y'all got... wouldn't mind having a time jump. Oh. Unless you don't, unless you think we need to level up or something. Are y'all ready? What level are y'all? 11. 11. Yeah, we're 11. Okay. <laughs> I think I always uh, hoped that y'all would be around 11 to 13. We're not going to make it to 20, are we? <sighs> You'd have to almost level us up faster. I think, that, I th- I think that you the game would end at level 20. So I think, really, you're going to be level 19. I don't see you fighting. Well, not at level 20, yeah. yeah. But do you think we're going to level up that many more times? I, it's, I hope so, but... <laughs> Bilbo Baggins walking out the door. I'm going on a cosmic adventure. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm wondering what's after Galeport. I know you've got something in mind. Yeah, I know what the next chapter is going to be, for sure. That's great. I And I don't, which I kind of have up until this point. So I'm interested to see what that's going to be. But it's Take like, a guess. Just take a guess, and I'll, I'll hide my reactions. Like take it, like where it's going to be yeah. or what's going to happen? What what What's the next chapter? Give me more ideas for the game. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, the next chapter, I, I know that... When Galeport is overthrown and the Inklings able to come in and do their thing, they're like, they've got over half the continent controlled. It's just, do we have enough people to mount an attack? And if we have an attack, are we going to the castle or like, where does that take place? So I don't know if the next chapter is going to be preparing for like this end of times war mm-hmm. or if you're going to ship us off to to the dying plains because we've never gotten into Thren's backstory and like Duke Jike at all and, and maybe I if Duke Jike is good that's great but I feel like there's got to be more to it than that and plus he we already know from from what we know about Thren's backstory is that, that Jike like sucked the re- all the resources out of the land and made a desert out of a jungle and we played the uh Tate's, uh, that tales from Plexia yeah. there, and it was very interesting with the creatures and the and whatever was going on there. I think that's my favorite tales of Plexia, just because it sets up such a vast difference, like going from lush jungle to what y'all know of the dying plains. It's yeah. very interesting. So I'd I'd like to see that because I'd like to explore it, especially knowing that like <laughs> is there any jungle still there? Because that tales from Plexia happened years and years before mm-hmm. the Long game. Time. Yeah. Yeah, hundreds like of years. No, not hundreds, because Jack isn't that old. Only like 50 or 60 years. Oh, so he wasn't put in place like 500 years ago. Mm-hmm. Okay. No. That's said in the game, too, that he's okay. the youngest and that he's the most recent uh, addition. But yeah, I'd like to see if, if there's something. I mean, there's no telling what's down there. I was about to say, yeah. We, did we figure out what was down there? Like, what they were like mining or whatever for down there? Like, underneath the ground? 
No. Uh, I think in Tate's game, what they were doing was creating uh, uh, robot things. Yeah, like okay. robotic. They were making... So like a, that crystal suit that uh, Dewberry had, is that like some of the stuff that they were getting? That was from built by Jay. We don't it was know built if by it was Jay. Jake. Hmm. Y'all didn't see... I don't think anything like that was mentioned. In maybe, I'm movie. wondering if maybe... Like, there's just all types of rich minerals that only come from there, and he was pulling them all out and building different things. Well, the trees themselves are, like, turning into stone, right? That's that up was in, in the, the Burnout Forest. That's the Burnout that Forest. And different... that's just from the world dying. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I thought it was, like, something to do with him, uh, his, like, what he was doing having an effect on the rest of the world. Is the world just dying because the world is dying, or is the world dying because of effects from... The world's dying because it's old. I, I've, I've, we've said, I, I got the idea for that from the Magician's Nephew, C.S. Lewis's Chronicles of Narnia books, The Magician's okay. Nephew. Oh. They the before they ever go to Narnia, they go to another world and meet the the wicked witch and bring her out of her world, which is dead. Like the sun's about to give out, and everyone is like in a comatose state because of a spell that she cast. And like I think it mentions that even the trees are turning to stone because of the okay. so every yeah. So it has nothing to do with the king. No, and that's been said in game. Okay, I thought it had. Um. Oh, I had some. Don't remember. Oh yeah, but we also have. If you ever wanted to bring the the hag coven back and mm-hmm. make that be a boss, like how high level would that be, Ty? Hag coven's uh, are pretty high. On, yeah. Depends on his. It depends on hags. if I wanted to, like uh, an actual hag coven. You could probably defeat at like ninth level party easy. It depends on the hags, too, right? Though. Like cause even the, the, the highest, the, uh, even the highest monster manual, like normal monster manual, I think is only level nine. So, like but, three like, level nine hags wouldn't be a problem for y'all. Yeah, I think three third level hags is I like, considered like a challenge rating. Six or seven. Six or seven, yeah. something like that. Yeah. So like, yeah, you know, like that's just like a basic green hag. Yeah, yeah it's something like that. And the, but the thing is, they all when they're all together, they like have a shared spell casting mm-hmm. power that's like way more powerful than what they normally would be. Yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, depending on what you added to that, you could. Oh yeah, it. hag coven is always in, in play if we need it. Yeah. And heroes of Juniper Grove, which I don't know if that's tied into the to the main story in some way, considering now that they're allied with the batteries i would think that almost turns into like main story instead of side quest material even though that is the original main story it's y'all's main story yeah that is our main story it might not be the world's main story but it is the commoner's main story yeah it's actually all this stuff with the batteries and galeport and everything that's just a side quest it's funny the biggest side quest of all time that's what we should be doing i should that's funny honestly i probably i should could have tried to kill jules or do something could have tried to drag her down there where we could demand information from her and wouldn't tell her to take us to Stefan so we could kill him and then be in game. Could be. But I think what's really interesting is now like you've got Dustin and Kyle, technically Dexter. Um Dexter's so new it's hard to even remember he's playing. Um that weren't that's those they don't care anything about them. Like they might empathize, That's true. but I mean, Gillard for sure is all about the war. Yeah. That is his main quest. Yeah. Like Kyle's main quest is just to whatever uh, anybody yeah, wants to, to be <laughs> to be a renegade. Yeah, because um, he should have the same mindset as Gillard, but he doesn't. Yeah. No, <laughs> and that's funny, and that's fine. But he's been with us since the beginning. Yeah, he's so pretty much. Like, a, he, yeah, he's pretty much an OG. He fought with us in. Dairy against mm-hmm. the heroes of Juniper Groves he and against the he zombies against in with the zombies Grove. in yeah. Juniper Grove. Yeah. yeah, he was there, so he was one of the heroes of yeah. Juniper Grove. He's a Jun- yeah, and he doesn't so he even does know that. that he him. doesn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> he does have beef with them. Outside of, uh, unlike Gillard, I'm ready to start a new game for Kyle's sake because he he thinks that he'll be more into it and understand more on the next game. Oh, I definitely, know. yeah. Like, he he he's he's ready to make a new character and all kinds of stuff. Yeah, because like, well, I mean, there is a, something to say about like when you start fresh with a new mm-hmm. character, you come up with their backstory yep. and all that stuff. That's I've I've got a character I can't wait to play. So that's your def- definite one for the next campaign. Yeah, yeah. I, have I told you anything? No. Oh, okay. No, I'm not going to. I don't want anything out there. I don't know if we're playing in the same world. Mm-hmm. I don't know what we're doing. So I. I love I, the reason I've got to finish this game is because I know how it's it how I want it to end. Y'all could 
ended a different way. I mean, y'all could die at any time, and that ends in a different way. But like, if we literally made it to the end game, there's 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 two directions. There's only two. Well, there's three. You could die, and then there's two ways you could win. You know how games have true endings. My game has a true ending in my mind, and y'all don't have to get it. There's an alternate. Ending. <clears throat> there's an alternate ending. <laughs> okay. Besides y'all just dying, there's an alternate wins condition. <clears throat> Is there a way to make this world live longer? Is that part of the end game? Because if we play another campaign in this world, would it be it, older? Yeah, whatever or newer? we do on the next in the next game depends on how what what alternate ending or what what ending y'all. So we are you are planning to continue us playing on, in yeah. Palexia or is in this world? Is this a continent or is it <laughs> a planet? It's a flat world. It's a planet. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, man, Tyrell. Ought to be the DM. Like he is sent me and Malachi. have him build a map for you. Yeah, and it and the lore. Backstory. Yeah, yeah. And in the game. <laughs> <laughs> He's great at lore. Oh, his lore is insane for his own personal games. Like mm-hmm. and like the the information that he has on his. He has words I can't even pronounce. <laughs> Did y'all start a new game yet? No, no probably we, haven't, we, haven't, we haven't. Well, I figured. I need you was... to text me all the things because that WhatsApp. When I got my new phone, I have I have really old conversation, but I don't have any of the stuff about my new character. Like, because I have my character I've, made, I just haven't wrote it down. I've got this app on my phone. It's, it's literally just called a notebook app. Mm-hmm. I keep everything for my campaign in there, which is actually probably a mistake because whenever I switch phones, it's probably going to all be gone. <laughs> I'm probably upload it to a cloud or something. Yeah, I need to do something with it. But, do you? Uh, do you uh, are y'all playing in the same world that we were playing in? Okay, it's just a different continent. Gotcha. It's a uh, greater life. Wait, there's and... different continents in worlds? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ours is all one. Yeah. No, it is just one massive, like, yeah, smallest world, I guess. It's like Middle Earth. Yeah. Maybe, maybe there's a continent on the other side. No, because Drax is, flat, is controlling the world. <laughs> I said it's flat. <laughs> Come on, it's a pyramid. It's a D4. <laughs> <laughs> well, where, where are boats coming from on the ocean, then? Because Galeport's the far west side of the map. Don't you know you can only sail so far till you hit the icebergs? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if they're coming in from the ocean, they got to be coming from somewhere. Maybe. We'll see. Otherwise, they would just come up the river would be the only way. Well, there is. There's Galeport, and then there's uh, what Harbor's, Harbor's End. Harbor's Yeah. So that uses the ocean. Just use the ocean oh, as a yeah. uh, as a means of. Production. Are we going to go to Harbor's End? Uh, it's up to y'all. <laughs> I mean, will we have any reason to go? I, not at the moment. <laughs> not that I can see. I don't... I mean, I I guess if y'all really flub it, uh, Catherine could run. She wouldn't run to Harbor's End, though. She'd run to uh, where your game was set. I don't remember what that was called. I don't either. It's on my map, so... It's so. a V or a G. I'll think of it. So don't let that happen. Okay. Unless y'all want to, you know, get a few more levels. Whatever. <laughs> yeah. Lord, y'all would hate that, wouldn't you? Chasing her further in the map. That would be awful. Yeah, it would. Well, she would be out of the protection of her city and stuff, though, That's too. True. She wouldn't have all the probable layer actions. <laughs> Do they have layer actions? So. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> Well, I mean, no, Catherine you definitely didn't. need to invade. <laughs> We're going to invade in five days. That may be five games, which means it may be the fall of this year. <laughs> <laughs> we got plenty of time to prepare. Let's see. What else happened? I am almost uh, interested in seeing if Kyle is, wants a, a love connection to Helga. Because it's funny. <laughs> the the funny, I died laughing. I was listening to, to that last game, and he said he, he was going to carry her to the table. And he said, and I, I just cradle her in my arms or something. And you go, are you picking her up? And he goes, yes, and it's heavy. <laughs> <laughs> I think I was like, she doesn't allow you to do that. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, give Rask a love interest. I, I kind of like... 
I don't, if she likes him, yeah. For some the hell in my mind is like, like he's stupid, but like it's attention. I guess she, and it, it not bad, like not like she's craving attention, but like she's not, she doesn't hate it. I guess in my mind, it's kind of funny. Like he's <laughs> yeah. he's funny, and she likes his sense of humor. Okay, boy, that would be that'd be funny. Give him something to fight for. <laughs> Stupid. Put Helga in some danger and see what he that does. He's trying to have her yeah, build. he wants oh a motorcycle. Oh, I, I forgot, forgot about, about that. that. I completely forgot about that. That's like a that's like a uh, Malachi trying to build a <laughs> trying to make the Infinity Gauntlet or a gun. Yeah. <laughs> Just imagine Thrin, a wagon without horses, <laughs> made of metal. Made of metal. <laughs> A With horse. bat wings for some reason. A horse, but instead of legs, it has wheels. <laughs> oh. Wow, Kyle comes up with stuff. I never, I don't know where he's going, and by the time he gets done, I'm dying laughing. <laughs> I'm still wearing the mop. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> and the one time he said something about there was something he did one time that was a callback to multiple games. Yeah, his before. continuations on point. Yeah, I can't believe, and I couldn't believe because it was just like an inside joke thing about him being able to fly or something. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, his hammer. Yeah, maybe yes. that his hammer. Yeah, where he just come crashing yeah. down next to Thrin, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, I, I was, I was on the balcony. Dewberry. Yeah, I was reading a book and he comes crashing down from Not the Dewberry. roof. Weirdly enough. Yeah. Oh, oh my gosh, Thrin, I can fly. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, yeah he'll 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 drop some continuation joke and it'll take me a good ten seconds to know what he's talking about. Yeah. The 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 car thing, like him trying to make a car, like yeah. he, he was one of those. Like, just imagine it, Thren. Yeah, because wasn't he? He was talking about the car like back when we were yeah. on the raft. Yeah, before we got oh, to no, nah, nah, I don't was think it's that far. Back? It was it was definitely one. It was like different. I, the the space was wild, but I think it made sense in game. Oh well. Th- I, the first time, the one I remember when he started talking about it was when we fought the things in the orphanage the first time, and he wakes up out of he wakes up out of his I hypnosis. Had a dream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He oh, said, okay. Thren, I just had the craziest dream. Yeah. It's like punch and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, just yeah. imagine it, Thren. Yeah. <laughs> well, for some reason, I think it was back on the raft. But he mentioned he may have said cars. something on the raft He's too. Serious. He did but, say something. I don't. I Maybe mean, it wasn't the car thing. I but yeah, know. then he brought. Then yeah, multiple episodes later, he starts bringing his idea to Helga. And he remembered that he had yeah, that idea. I don't know how he remembers funny. all that stupid stuff he says. Oh, Kyle, what a great addition to the group. But y'all, like, we're gonna have battle this next game, I guess, right? Uh we're pretty much initiated on yeah. those people. Okay. It's been a while, so y'all want a good battle. Do you want to almost die? Uh, I mean, I don't know what could be down there. Yeah. I don't really want to almost die, but well, I don't know. If we can go back and get our hit points before we go invade the castle, I guess we'll I mean, be y'all right. got five days. What could possibly be the deal down there? I don't know. Is it going to be another instance like when we fought that mind flayer for no reason? <laughs> that was me just trying to waste time. <laughs> that was the most module thing we've ever done. It wasn't even from a module. It was just a game. It, uh, I know, but I it was this random and stuff. I, I hate modules. Y- y'all were. It was. It was just. I need a throwaway thing for y'all to just waste a few days with. And yeah. And then y'all got bored with that and just like let's do a fight club. Yeah. Well, most modules are set in the Forgotten Realms. There's a few of them that aren't They're like the uh, <clears throat> Aberon setting or the uh, Ravencroft. Ravencroft. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Which it's like, it actually has ties to uh, Forgotten Realms. Yeah. But it's not. Connected yeah, Ravencroft is just outside of the Forgotten Realm. Yeah, it's like its own dread domain. Is that where Curse of Straw takes place? Yeah, you? yeah. Uh, there's other dread domains, too, besides just Ravenloft. But, uh, yeah. That's what I like about the modules, is that they're all in the Forgotten Realms. Yeah, they're right? all connected in a lot of ways. You can go from in Lost Minds of Fandelver, mm-hmm. and then you can do the Storm King's Fury, and you go back to Fandelver. They have a new book. It's called Fandelver and Below, and yeah. it, you can actually run the first uh, mm-hmm. Lost Minds of Fandelver, and then go directly from yeah. that into that one, That's and cool. it's connected directly to it. It, it has like some Lovecraftian horror-style yeah. stuff to it. It's great. I used to play with guys, and they knew... Forgotten Realms lore, 
so well that mm-hmm. they could play any game and it be in that so you don't have to make things up like you just know the lore yeah because it's been published that would so be long. cool if there was like good lore and you could follow a story yeah. but when we've done them before it just seems like a fight I when, mean, when i was talking combat. to you and malachi last night i was saying that ed greenwood has a youtube yeah. channel that guy right there is the guy who created all that well he created the world setting itself anyway oh, okay how big is the forgotten realm it's huge yeah, it's huge. Like, Fan I mean, Elvers and stuff, it's just the Sword Coast. Like, it's just a part of the world. Like, yeah. same thing with Storm King's, uh, Storm King's Thunder. Fury, Thunder, whatever. Yeah, yeah. yeah, like, that's just in the Sword Coast. Uh, yeah, most, most of And then of you the... watch the movie that they just made last year, and that's in the Sword Coast. Mm-hmm. Like, Oh, yeah, I didn't know. So, so that, like, did, we can talk about that, because I watched that movie. Yeah, it's good. Did you like it? Yeah, I really liked it. I liked it. It was funny. From what I watched. Yeah. I, I, I watched, from what I could hear of it, I was at, <laughs> I was at my sister's house when I watched it, and it, like, there was a lot of loud stuff going on. I want to watch it again. But, but uh, yeah, it's just a good little D&D movie. Yeah, of, uh, it was okay. Uh, I don't know. I just felt like the plot wasn't that great. And I felt like if you didn't play Dungeons & Dragons, you wouldn't know why anything was funny or what was even happening. Well, I, I, I think that's true. But I, I thought, well, a lot of people were saying, oh, it doesn't even matter if you know anything about D&D. It's just a good movie. And I was like, if I didn't know this was D&D, You're missing I a lot of wouldn't stuff have been even know. interested, I don't think. I think being like it definitely was for D and D fans because it was such a D and D campaign. Like that's what it felt like. It felt like a yeah, D and D campaign. Yeah, it did feel like a D and D campaign. Yeah, like, definitely. Yeah, they flubbed a, a a heist. Got kid like got sent to prison. Escaped from prison. Didn't yeah. need to escape from prison. Like it was. Yeah, it was a I, bunch of funny stuff. I figured out why that druid can wild shape into an owl bear. Oh really? Now. Why? While owl bears are now no longer monstrosities and they are beasts. Yeah. That's why. Well, did they change that specifically yeah. because of the movie? I don't know if that's why, but like oh, okay. they, they have recently changed like their type into a beast. So you, and she's still able to uh, wild shape way too many times. Oh yeah, for yeah. sure. Oh, yeah. But it I mean, it it looked good. Yeah, it was it was what you ex- you it, you imagine a druid to look like. And then was uh was Letty a barbarian? Yeah. Yes. Okay, because they never say and she never really rages. She I rages. guess she's supposed to be raging. Yeah, every time she's in battle. She doesn't, like, go nuts, though, or anything. She might not be a berserker. Yeah, I guess she's probably I, a berserker. I, I, she's a good, I thought she might just be she's a fighter. I was wondering. I was wondering if she was just a fighter. Did they ever say anything about her total? Maybe she was a she fighter. She has stats. Like, you can look it yeah, up. Yeah, you can like, look at the... Like, what she is, but I don't know what she is. I sure. don't know that chick's name. I just call her Letty. I mean, because that's... Uh, Roderick, uh Yeah, uh... <laughs> Oh, she's Michelle. a lady from Fast and the Furious. Michelle Rodriguez. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Michelle Rodriguez. Well, you knew who I was talking about when I said the lady. Yeah, you, because you said barbarian. Oh, okay. I thought, I, I thought she was going to be a barbarian, and then partway through the movie, I was like, I don't know that she's like raging. It's not making. I would thought that if she was raging, they would have made a point to like make it look like she was, her veins are bulging out of her skin, or like she. Oh, by the way, in Baldur's Gate, the barbarian druid rage works i was actually really surprised that they actually included that into the game like when you rage and then transform mm-hmm. you can still be a raging bear yeah. oh really <laughs> yeah in that game i thought that was really cool can you do that in D? Yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah you can be a raging animal mm-hmm. yeah it's not like casting spells where if you're raging you can't no now you it, they also included that too like if you're raging you can't cast spells where you're raging you have to drop the rage in order to be able can you cast one and then rage and be yeah. concentrating okay no you cannot be concentrating but there are certain spells that you can use i figured out that you can cast before you rage. Mm, that'll and, continue. Yeah. There's like one, I forgot what that spell is called. Like something fire shield or whatever. You can cast that. It like gives you like a flame around you. And when enemies attack you with frost damage, it like negates it for the most part. It takes like whatever damage it would have dealt and like minimizes it majorly. Is there anything in the game that's not actually D and D? Not that no. I've seen. No, it's, 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 it's just dude, It's D and D is yeah. best D and D you can get. Okay. It's, it's good. <laughs> But yeah, that, and when enemies hit you, they take like six to sixteen damage every time they hit you. It's oh, crazy. with the fire shield, yeah, oh, it's really a fourth good. level spell. And that the, I was playing a barbarian that had this robe that you can get if you like do this one thing in the storyline, and it gives you that spell while while wearing the robe. It's pretty cool. It's called like infernal robes. In in D and D, I know we've talked about this before. But did we did we make an exception for Quincy on the spells where I can concentrate? Because you're not supposed to be able to concentrate. 
when you're raging, Seth? Do what? Sorry. Am I not? I'm not supposed to be concentrating while I'm raging, right? That's an exception we made for yeah, Quincy. For you. Yeah. Okay. Which makes me pretty powerful. But it would have been really powerful if I would have been able to cast spells while raging. I think that is. She's true. part of the elk tribe, so she, it's pro, she's a totem barbarian. She's a totem. Just, an elk, totem, an elk barbarian. totem barbarian. What's an elk? What do you that get with you elk? More movement, I think. Yeah, more movement speed at six level. I didn't even know there was an elk. Is that that's not in the that, player's that's handbook? That's Sword Coast Adventures Guide, mm-hmm. and in the new player's handbook, whenever it comes out, was it next year or this year? Whenever it comes out, uh, they'll have the Wild Heart Barbarian in that one. It'll be all of the totem barbarians in one, one thing. Oh, that's the Wild Heart. Yeah. So you like, can put when, all of them in one. Yeah. So what it is is you'd be unstoppable. No, it's it's basically the same thing. They just revised it. Uh, but when you level up, you don't have to choose the same animal as you go, like you did in the previous one. Which apparently that oh. was a thing anyway. You didn't have to do that. You could actually be like a, a bear totem third level and then go into elk in the sixth level. Mm-hmm. Apparently, a lot of people didn't get that, so that's why they were redoing it with. Uh, so Walmart. you can change it every level, or what? Uh, yeah, yeah. Like, well, with at third and sixth, you'll get two different things there. Tate's okay. getting impatient. He asked if everything's okay. I guess oh he's ready God. to talk. Okay, I'm sure he is. I, <laughs> I was just going to I just told him, him to be minutes. ready. <laughs> um, we can call is, him. Is there anything? Well, do we want to ask him about the campaign? Yeah, you can. Yeah, we can we've talked him. about it. We, we'll go ahead and call him, and then we'll do the top three, and then we'll call Dustin. He can... On the console. He can do it on the console with us, unless he has anything to say about the Headphones campaign. Headphones on for a first. Headphones on. What's this sec- session called? Or uh, This segment? Yeah, this segment. That's the word. Um... On the phone. Phone a friend. <laughs> phone a friend. Okay. On the phone. <laughs> <laughs> On the phone, soul. Now, are the are, is the audience going to get to hear the ringing of the phone? I should, yeah. I, I, would, I haven't checked this to see if it was going to work. I just, I played music and it worked, so. Well, we hear. I hear ringing. I hear ringing. I hear. Yeah. I'll have to, pro- he's not going to be able to. Probably have to talk loud, Tyrell, since you're across the room. He just asked if we're ready, and now he's not going to answer the phone. I'm about to hang up on him. <laughs> wow. Boy, you can't make this stuff up. You can't. Wow. Classic Anthony. Classic. <laughs> Y'all like my slippers? I do. I've been yeah. admiring your slippers they're, this whole time. They're Brianna's. They're not mine. All right. Call Dustin. See if he'll answer. Worst segment in... <laughs> Just say it and Phone a friend. Phone, yeah. These, Phone he's friend not my friend no anymore. be taking place. Hello. Hey, hey, hey what's up? You're on Satan Common. I am uh, Yeah. Uh, I'm uh I'm at Sonic. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want me to call you back? We tried to call Anthony first, but he didn't answer the phone, so no, 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 no. it's fine, it's fine. I'm just, just gonna order my food and then I'll uh, I'll just do that. No, I, I just pulled in. I actually just got done at least with practice, so it's actually worked out. What it, uh, I had a, I just had a first of the year Saturday practice. Three people, four people showed up. Out of out of how many? Out of like sixteen or twenty. I don't know how many kids oh. I have. Not a lot now. They're off the team. Your your team is that big? I have a lot now. Now the uh, I don't have that many that compete. I have that many that show up. Oh, okay. Competing this past semester, I think I have this past semester I had nine that actually compete. Six on my Smash Bros team. And three on my. Uh, oh, Anthony's calling now. Team. But going into the next season, I'm going to make that 13 people. But anyway, welcome to San Carmen. We're talking about everything, not just fucking <laughs> How you guys doing? Oh, we're good. Uh, we've been mostly just talking about the campaign. So if there's anything you want to weigh in on. Um, Seth knows what I want. Seth knows. 
<laughs> you might have to send it all back. I got a new phone. I don't know if I have all those text messages we sent. You know, Seth. You know, it's in there. <laughs> <laughs> what you just want mag you want magic items he wants magic items yeah. he wants everything i don't want magic i do want magic items but this is a different thing i want to i'm making changes i'm getting rid of my useless background for something that's less than useless it's good what what is your background currently soldier no spy spy well you were a spy yes. i know but it's useless <laughs> so i'm changing it Oh, so, but I'm making it really perfect. Even though I used to be a spy in the academy, I'm not a spy now, so my background doesn't make any <laughs> sense anymore. No, no, my background it makes sense, but its its actual uses are useless. What 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 context do I have, Sam? What context? <laughs> what spy context do I have? <laughs> Delinar. <laughs> That's not a spy context. <laughs> so you're, I, just, I, I, I just want to like make tweaks in the direction without changing the character as a whole and I just I think I found a fun way to do that and incorporate it in the story so just something yeah. I'm working on with Seth that I'm looking forward to but apparently we ended up getting into combat instead of all of that <laughs> so <laughs> we gotta fight for our lives before I get a chance what if my god dies what I was like, what if we die? What if we die in the next combat? Oh, like, yeah. All that yeah. prep is gone. <laughs> what What do you <laughs> think? What do you think is uh, uh, up with all these tunnels? The tunnels? Oh, yeah. I just think it's like a network of caves or something. Probably, probably is how vampires move around in the day or something. I don't know. I oh, yeah, in the day. I, but I haven't really thought about it a whole lot because, I mean, it was just this was three months ago, guys. It's, it's <laughs> Well, I'm just wondering if like if it's a labyrinth to try to keep people from getting to them, or if those tunnels are going all over the place. I think they're both. It's meant to be confusing, but they probably have functions that we just don't know about. Yeah, I mean, Seth's already introduced runes, so that means they have they have at the very least they're, they're trapped. But runes are a very versatile form of magic that can do more than that. So it could be like there could be a rune that. Other than whatever moves the earth and then opens up a pathway in some dude's house and he kills their family. I, I mean, I kill <laughs> Who knows? Uh, I, I figure that it, it's it probably serves a lot of purposes. Um, the question is, are the vampires the one that made it to serve their purposes, or is this like like an old underground railroad thing? I don't know. I'm just just curious how much Seth really uh, has prepared for this. It'd be a lot of fun to find out there. He's he's getting ideas right now. Oh yeah, I love. To, I come to Satan coming just for the ideas. I don't think I do this. This is how I plant my ideas in my in campaign. Yeah, you're you're you are DMing our campaign. This is Inception, AJ. This is Inception. Yeah. I tell Seth what a great idea something would be, and then he feels like it's his idea. Which is that he's <laughs> oh man. Well, I was gonna, I was gonna call you for on the console. So, you got anything on the console? Any games you're excited about? Uh, no, <laughs> no. The, it's pretty sad, isn't it? Uh, I'm not excited for GTA. And if if that, if uh, not Rockstar, but Rockstar's parent company that's pushing the price changes, if they get that way, I want it to fail. I want it to ethically fail. How much do they want to charge? Play games. They're I have I have heard that two of the options are one hundred and twenty dollars for a subscription service. Oh. Neither of those are okay. No. So if if they move forward with either of those plans, the game needs to fail. If they don't, and it remains the ridiculous seventy dollars price tag that AAA games currently have, then fine, succeed. Who cares? Um, but it, I don't want it to succeed if either of those plans go in motion. That's my thing. because hey, it's, it's, it's going to hurt the industry. Gamers are are not putting up with crap right now. Like, so if they try that, there's a good chance it will fail. Even, yeah. even how big a name they are. Right. I mean, I, I, it's it's definitely possible because, like, even the hundred point twenty dollar price tag, it's like, oh yeah, okay, all the streamers are gonna buy it. But what's they'll be giving it. Just watching the streamers, you know. Yeah, the, the streamers are gonna get it if you charge two hundred dollars, you know. The people who want like this to be part of their platform or, or want to make a platform off of this title, they were never not going to buy it no matter what 
Rockstar slash parent company does. Um, it's everybody else that I just I hope they don't drink the Kool Aid because I don't care about the game regardless of what happens, but I don't want it to succeed with those conditions. I think it's bad for the industry. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Is there anything else oh, coming out? Welcome to the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's been here. <laughs> he, he's far away, so he hasn't been saying much. But uh, okay, I've got my phone across the room from him. Is the audio going to be bad for me? No, you're, we hear you in our headphones and stuff. You're jacked right into a microphone. Sweet, sweet. Yeah, I've got I've got you plugged up with the aux cable into my audio interface, but it's not too bad. Okay, cool, cool. Your background noise, we can hear that, but Yeah, we we look like we look like we're on Joe Rogan right now with our headphones on. Yeah. Nice. You should uh, post a picture like you did when y'all did that uh same comment with Ace Seth wearing a stupid hat. <laughs> yeah, with the helmet on. Call it uh, what was it? Joe Rogan is called is it like Joe Rogan Experience or something? The Joe yeah. Rogan Experience. Like yep. The commoner's experience and they just take a picture and put the headphones on. Spe- speaking of that, have you seen what these these videos that they're no, making for ads. AJ's back on this. Oh yeah. What, I, did I say this before? Where they pretend they're talking like a. On Go, a it's worse than that. Now. It's, it's AI. not even faking podcast. Yeah, they're taking AI Joe Rogan yeah. voice and overlaying oh, it where yes. his mouth is real close to the microphone. Yep. You can't tell what he's actually saying, mm-hmm. and they're saying stuff about this sixty four hundred dollar yeah, government so yeah. check. Same That's, with uh, Andrew what, Tate. A- AI. Yeah, Andrew they do Tate. it with everybody. They do it with Donald. If Trump. you don't know about the sixty four hundred dollar <laughs> thing, yeah. you're being scammed by the government. Yeah. And they've got this AI voice. It sounds just people, like them. People say that, but I can tell it's not well, them. The cadence is wrong. The cadence is wrong, but Thanks it does sound the like them. Advances with AI and their their uh, AI cloning that they have now with like the voice cloning. It's crazy what they can do with it. Yeah, deep fakes are going to become a real problem. Yeah, yeah. we could. I've seen. I've seen a D and D game on youtube where it's donald trump joe biden barack obama <laughs> joe rogan all playing dungeons and yeah. dragons yeah. together and it's all deep fakes and ais and stuff yeah i've heard it where it sounds like they're having a, a conversation mm-hmm. talking about some video game or something like they're arguing there's, over a there's video one game. where it's joe joe uh, uh joe biden trump and barack obama and they just argue and cuss yeah and it's absolutely hilarious yeah I've seen and that. it always ends with joe biden saying something racist and it's just <laughs> hilarious <laughs> <laughs> maybe that's what we need to do dustin as creators maybe yeah. we need to start making fake ai stuff yeah just I donald trump joins out. our game <laughs> Where, where's the ai who will edit my damn videos for me so I <laughs> it's out there Where? how crazy is that? like well, there one day ai will be able to take that uh that like our our Monday night Dead by Daylight stream and just make a short of us uh, fooling with that uh, that ghost face, you know, playing uh, red light, green light, and just make yeah. a short based on that alone. That was fun. Yeah. That was. I good. won, by the way. I thought. I think I won. Uh, Are you talking I, about I, on the stream that I, I missed? <laughs> Oh man, I'm I'm sad. I'm, I'll have I think to watch Tyrell that was the one who died. Yeah, I died. He, he, yeah, he grabbed me. Ghostface got Tyrell. He was because Seth cool. and Malachi <laughs> both told me about how great that stream was. I missed it. He yeah, he he 100 percent killed for for uh, Tyrell. <laughs> if I was guy, there, he would have killed us me. A lo- he gave us a follow on in, in on uh, on Twi- or oh, Twitch or Twitch. Uh, Twitch. Yes. Yes. that was that was the gnome. That was gnome something. Yeah. 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 He he God, just texted it. me randomly at the beginning of the game, like y'all a group. I'm needing to get one uh, hook in the basement. Do you mind helping me out for the uh, yeah? Oh, really? For blood Same, Weber Weber void or something? We really, were really annoying guy on the stream last night. I kept telling us we were being we were being uh, ableist. He wouldn't <laughs> shut up. <laughs> His name was the clueless it gamer. Just, it was just. <laughs> It was just funny hearing AJ complain like multiple yeah. times, and it was like <laughs> people wouldn't have I, those complaints. Which I mean, it's a video game, so that's what yeah. made it I so did, funny. I was honest, I didn't catch what you were trying to say either. So when you reclarified it, it was super funny. Because I didn't either. Like, I, I'm, I I'm thought he was just trying to get on my nerves. Yeah, it was like it's like why is Seth beating us, and Seth is like hear this. Oh, <laughs> some people can't hear. <laughs> You're oh sick of gosh. hearing it. 
Did you ma- did you make your Sonic order yet? No. Oh, I'm okay. using the app, but I want to say it doesn't work. It didn't work last time I tried, so I'm going to try. I hate apps. I love ordering off uh, the app. I love ordering off the app because guess what? It eliminates human error. I don't got to worry about the cashier queuing something in wrong. Well, they still will mess it up, but yeah, yeah they can still bring it. They can still yeah. bring the wrong stuff. Right, but I then, but now I know the cook messed it up. Right, <laughs> so yeah. I know exactly who to blame. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Oh. Anything else you want to say? Um, so is apparently going to end this campaign uh, horribly, and he's going to again disappoint all of us. So, looking forward to it. Yep. I'm a disappointer. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Is that what this is about? Seth just being one. disappointing. Yeah. yeah. Seth, as long as you keep using my ideas, you'll never disappoint anybody. I mm-hmm. got you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm, a, I'm gonna need those magic items. Though, so you know what I'm y'all know how Kyle's like, oh, I, I'm, I'm a god. Yeah. Dustin doesn't say it. He just wants me to make him. One. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, just, yeah, I just, I want all the powers of a god with none of the titles. The he, the new what I'm calling legendary weapon he he dis, he argues it's not legendary. Uh, oh, it's uncommon! <laughs> it's uncommon! <laughs> and I'm only upset because we trained in a legendary item for it. We trained in a legendary. And armor. he got le- truly legendary armor at the same time. Hey, that I had, had nothing to do with that, but it was really basic armor. <laughs> and now that he's was one hundred percent on set. Now he's won all these extra things from a background change. <laughs> he's being very... And he's making poor uh, Cameron upgrade his armor and weapons even more. Yeah. Just- that's also nothing to do with me. I'm just using a system that's in place to make myself more, more you're, powerful. Okay? You're a min-maxer. Gonna, you're a min-maxer. I'm going to have Cameron working to the board on my weapon. <laughs> Wait till he asks. I'm going to be like, oh, actually, I got this, this weapon here. And it, could, it, could, it could be a little sharper. I'm going to be honest with you. I know it's leg- <laughs> uncommon, legendary, uncommon something, but you could make it a little better. Yeah. Is no, it? The, the, the weapon is awesome. It's just, it's it has so, it uses so much action economy, mm-hmm. and it just, it just stresses me out. I'm just like, wow, I can do 15 things with my bonus action, and I get one of them. <laughs> It probably would have been better for Quincy, but Quincy already had a special shield. Is it a oh what, shield or glaive? I thought he got a. It's a glaive that turns into a shield and spear. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay, yeah, that thing. Okay, I remember now. So, are you getting rid of it? No. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> no, it's it might be an uncommon item, but it, he's not getting rid it's of it. It's as good as a legendary <laughs> item, I thought. It's, it's, well, if Seth makes it plus two, it would be. Well, those uh. Those hand axes we traded for it, I think that was a great bargain. Yeah, no one uses hand axes. Those were a cool item. They were cool. They were a cool item. I wa- if I in Holon, I would 100% have been using them. Yeah, I wish somebody could have used them. I actually made a character for Tyrell's game that I got to play one time, and I didn't actually get to do it perfectly because we were too low level. But I made a character based on throwing weapons after that, and I really would have liked him. Just like close, short-range throwing weapon. Mm-hmm. It was a kobold? That my kobold yeah. that I created for y'all's game. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. He was oh, gonna, I forgot about he that. He was eventually going to throw. I forgot he was a kobold. Yeah. Zoru? 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 Zaru? Zaru. 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 Zaru, that was yeah. it, yeah. He was cool. Well, maybe one of these just get the back to playing that again. <laughs> maybe. Let me know when. All right. Well, Dustin, it's been great that. having you on the phone. Yeah, yeah, yeah we're gonna, we're gonna try to call Anthony now. Sonic. Yeah, yeah, get Anthony on here and uh, make sure you interrupt his dinner. Right. Yeah, we'll try. <laughs> we'll try. I hope because he was getting all impatient about us calling him, and now I did call him and he did not answer. So. <laughs> I saw his text. He's like, "Everything okay?" And I was like, "Ha! Huh. I was gonna say that, but I was driving." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, enjoy uh, your Sonic, and uh, we'll talk uh, to you soon. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that was cool. Yeah, that was good. Old Dustin, what are you doing, Ty? Oh, I'm about to call man. Anthony. Wait, is Anthony ready now? I asked him. He hasn't responded. He says, "Yep." Okay.
What if it went Once to Once again, voice? on the phone. Hello? Oh. Oh, he answered right away. Finally answered. (laughs) 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 What are you doing? Oh, you know, just uh, just about to finish dinner. What's going on, man? Oh, we did interrupt your dinner then. That's exactly what Dustin was hoping. Yeah, Dustin was hoping we were interrupting your dinner because we interrupted his. Oh well, I guess that makes sense. If all's fair in love and D and D. If you can't, yeah. If you can't, you know, live to the fullest, then you don't want anybody else to. So, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I got a few questions for you. First of all, uh, do you have anything to say about the campaign? <laughs> I'm ready to get started again because I forgot everything. <laughs> yeah, you probably ought to listen to the last episode. Last episode was the one where, where you know, Dexter started playing, and uh, what's his character's name? Edgar. That ain't it. I don't remember. Uh, oh Dude, my remember. goodness! I remember starting to play. I've been. <laughs> I was just listening to it. And I don't remember. It cracked me up again how easily y'all brought him in <laughs> compared to Corvus. <laughs> Corvus. That was scary. We don't trust Corvus. Did we even trust? Did we trust Orin even that much? Orin. Orin. Yeah, Orin. Orin. You've been listening to Critical Role. Not much. Uh, I think y'all just tolerated Oren. Yeah, he was just like, we didn't have any reason to be scared of him at the time. We didn't know that he was stealing stuff from me. So we just, well, and he also got kind of thrust into our midst because he went to the academy with us. Yeah. And, you know, I think also uh, we as like the player, like the players, we were all cautious of him, but the player characters couldn't be because there was yeah, no ground. Yeah, right. Well, and then also it, it was the deal. The deal with Corvus was, had we not been in enemy territory in deep undercover <laughs> and, and him start into talking brains. into our brains, yeah, that was it. If yeah. we, if we had been in, you know, at the nest and he came to the door and he said, "Hello, I'm Corvus. I'd like to talk with you," it would have been completely different. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We get here Just knowing like, hey, that I'm these people are. Your brain, so you have to accept me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. And and then people were saying we were just giving him grief because I know every time I hear voices in my brain, I accept them. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it, people were acting like we were just giving him grief because he took Thren away, but that wasn't the case. It was because that was a fun reveal, though. That yeah. was a fun night yeah, it was. for a reveal. Oh yeah, I had no idea. I did not expect that whatsoever. Yeah. So. uh... Anyway, last so nothing episode, on the campaign because you don't remember it. We went we went down in the tunnels last time. We went what? We went down into the into those tunnels underneath the the orphanage. Yeah, yeah. And we got we got confronted by some people down there. Well, we confronted some people. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to listen to it because this is all news to me. Oh <laughs> my gosh! Okay, well, hey, how's that- the map coming along? Tate, you you building a, a new map for us? You got a got a map? For you got a you got a map? I've done a single thing, man. Uh, with moving and then oh yeah, I forgot you moved. And then Christmas. This was this was the first Christmas we had in a while where I actually where we actually decorated. So it was. Uh, oh wow! It was. Yeah. Well, Still. I forgot you moved. You got any other common life stuff going on? Um. You know, having a two and year, two and a half year old is is a new adventure every day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure, I'm sure Seth can can. I was at Children's Hospital today at the ER with my with my six month old. I saw that man. That's crazy. And there's nothing that they could do. Nope. Sorry, I know this is really like this is super common life, like super personal. <laughs> Nope, nope. My wife already called and talked about how she's a million times better from just visiting the doctor and having her nose sucked out without medication given. So That's awful. Sometimes you got so much snot up in your nose, you just can't do anything, you know? You that's need a high-powered vacuum, yeah. and that's what they used. <laughs> yeah, sometimes I just need to, to run a shop vac up my nose. <laughs> yeah. um, I like to use a water pick. Ew. Oh, gosh. That'd be awful. <laughs> well, since you don't have anything about the campaign, I've got I've got a top three for us okay. that I'd like for you to take part in, because I, I felt like you would be more suited to answer this than Dustin. Oh, I wanted your opinion. So, so nobody knows. Nobody knows what the top three is, and we can go in whatever order, but I want 
top three convenience stores slash truck stops. And you can have an honorable mention if you have a hard time deciding. But okay. I want a top three. Arkansas only okay, or like, well, stuff- like United States? Uh, no, nationwide. Nationwide. Because okay. I do have one that's not. It's not in okay, Arkansas so much. You, you're talking about you're talking about what's top three right now for you, Just like, like in your personal three. opinion, like okay, wh- my personal opinion, number one, absolutely starting out with the top okay, dog, okay, pilot, okay, it's respectable, okay, pilot. I just I remember going on a on a on a trip with my mom's husband at the time. We went up to Des Moines, Iowa, and then went to. South Carolina, I think. North Carolina. We went to North Carolina, and then we came back home on one trip. Mm-hmm. And Pilot was the place to be. It, it is. A, I mean, it's a good stop. Yeah. And, you know, you can find everything you need in there for a long road trip, for like a, you know, two-week-long road trip. Is the uh, – wh- I mean, I, I hate to ask this because I'll elaborate more later, but, like, uh, pricing, pricing at Pilot, like – are we looking at Dude, high range or are like, we looking low range? I was I was like eleven, so that oh, okay. Wasn't even a so you haven't been to a pilot since you were eleven. <laughs> yeah. And can you also still, can you also for nostalgia's sake? It's number one. No, I respect that. And also, can you can you elaborate on the pilot slash flying J situation? Because what's what's the difference? And are they all? Is it always a pilot yeah, and I'm flying a conversation? J? I don't even know what y'all are talking about. Is it know. always a pilot and a flying J, or mm-hmm. is there a flying J separate from a pilot? You know, um, that... He remembers it from when he was 11, AJ. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, let me, well, let me get into the business plan of Pilot. <laughs> I, think, I think maybe, like, Pilot is uh, maybe, like, the truck stop, and then Flying J is, like, a convenience store, and they're together, or vice versa. It could be maybe Flying J. Flying J's are just, like, you know, like, little rinky dink. I th- or it could be the other way. Maybe Flying J is a truck stop, and and Pilot is, or uh, is like the convenience store. Yeah, I don't know. Because I, mean, I think I have seen pilots that aren't Flying Js. Yeah, I mean, I have. I think I, I can't remember this place that we went to, but I'm pretty sure at the time. Like I said, this is this is going on. Let's see. Am I? I'm about to be 32. This is worse than the waters. What? This is a good, this is a hot ago, take. Twenty one years ago, and, and you haven't been to a pilot since. I, I don't. There is not an establishment that I've only been to one time twenty years ago and never been back. Like, there's no way. Like, a, and no like way would that be a number store. one on a list. Yeah, I can't believe it's number one for a place you visited one time. You know, it <laughs> this is kind of <laughs> this isn't. <laughs> it was because of the great need that I had for it. Okay. Well, it was kind of I a was, shining a shining beacon at the time. Yeah, it was. A, Here's 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 the situation, okay? I'm gonna get into a story time here. Okay, okay I figured that would happen. So, so like, I'm we're sitting here, we're in this we're in this sleeper cab truck, okay? And I'm having to split it with this six foot four giant of a man who is driving 12, 14 hours a day, whatever the, the limit was, I can't remember. But anyways, the only thing that I could bring with me. He had a small little TV in there. Like, I'm talking rinky-dink. Like, this is the old-school TV. Yeah. You know, had a, VA, uh, 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 a v- VCR built into it. Yeah. I brought my Super Nintendo with me. Oh, that's awesome. And I couldn't play it. <laughs> that's not because awesome. Because I didn't have uh, I didn't have a converter, you know, that like... Oh, that like a switch box? To be, plugged into a, to be plugged into a cigarette lighter or a 12-volt. Oh, okay. Like, yeah. So I was just, yeah. like, sitting here, like... I guess I'll look at these cows as I'm, as we're driving up to Iowa. That's fun. Uh-huh. Um, we stopped at a pilot, and he found one and bought it for me. And I spent the rest of the trip down back there. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, okay. Oh, that, I, 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 if that's excusable now about the pilot. Okay, yeah. so if that one was 21 years ago, let's hear about your number two yeah, from 23 years ago. Let's get a number two. <laughs> <laughs> no, number two happened a year ago. No, I don't know. Um, my number two. Truck stops, or or convenience store. I mean, you could go or like Seven Eleven. Okay, all right. Number two, one hundred percent. I they've been exploding around around my town here recently. But we Casey's. all know it. Oh, okay. Okay, I was gonna say. Can I guess? I knew it was gonna be Casey's. General I was gonna say DG. Yeah, yeah, because they're blowing up all around us, and you know, for the most part, I'd say. I mean they they got 
all kinds of good stuff in there. No, you know, I'm I'm with you. Packs in a fridge. Yeah. For your convenience. Yeah, and they're they're always just clean, nice. Food's good. Yeah, I'm I'm with Absolutely. you. Absolutely. I'm with you on 100%. that. Yeah. I've talked. I think I copped them one time on a. Oh yeah. On a Satan Common, I think it was Casey General Store was my cop or cancel. So yeah, I'm with you on that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. And then number three. Dang. All right. Now we're getting down into the deep cuts. <laughs> I think Pilot was a deep cut <laughs> <laughs> from 20 years ago. Let me think about this. Are you drinking uh, sweet tea? No, I don't have any kind of sweet drinks in my house that I want to even touch. So it's just water? There's grape juice, there's apple juice, and there's some sort of lemonade sugar water mix. I'm drinking water. Oh, okay, that's a good choice. It's a terrible choice. It Are you going to give me a number three or what? Let's go. I'm thinking. I'm stalling for time. Leave me alone. Oh, man. Murphy's. I'm going to go with Murphy's. AJ's <laughs> visibly upset. Okay, can you, I mean, can you give me a reason why? Five cents cheaper. Yeah, gas. they're watered down Walmart gas. <laughs> okay, first off, it ain't watered down. Second off... I have saved like yeah. I don't know so much money. You know, I get ten cents off every time I go over there. I'll go an extra ten miles ten to get to the Murphys. Off. Okay. Yeah. Well, yeah, but you make that back with your bad fuel mileage you get on that fuel. Oh man! But it's, it's also it's because they have a contract with Walmart. Like if there was just if you were driving on a long road trip and there's a Murphy on one side of the road and there's a Casey's General Store on the other side of the road and the gas is the same price, you're not going to that Murphy. Well, that's why it's number three uh, and not number wait, two. Wait, 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 wait. Before you say that, before you say that. Tate, you already put Casey's higher, so you should, if they're the same price, you're going to Casey's. I don't know. What it, don't what argue it, for arguing's sake. <laughs> what side of the road? <laughs> hey, that's fair. That's road. true. That's is, fair. This a, is this that's a four-lane right. road? Interstate. Is it? <laughs> I'm That's not getting off a exit ramp to get back on an exit ramp to, yeah, go, to, to the, go to Murphy yeah. or Casey's. Yeah, that's a good, that's a good point. I, I, I agree. Do they do. Do you drive a lot? Murphy's does have a good, they have good prices on uh, slushies. They're, do you have a three, though? Why, the reason why they're second to Casey's is the Murphy's that I always go into, they never, that, there, there's no food in there. You know, yeah, only yeah. Or beef yeah. Or whatever. Yeah, you just go in there for gas. Yeah, Cheaper it's gas. pretty much a gas stop. Yeah. Gas. It's a gas stop. That's it. All right, Ty. What do you got? I don't know. I mean, most. Most. <laughs> <laughs> Dustin did the same exact thing. <laughs> yeah, Dustin said that too. He said, oh, Tyrell, welcome to St. Gothic. <laughs> <laughs> um. I don't know. As far as gas stations and stuff like that go, most of the ones that I've been in are not very good. Like as far as like clean or anything like that. Uh, yeah. I mean, I don't know. I agree with Casey's. I, I like. I like that. I that, could. Uh, yeah. Store. It's usually. How do you rank it? Would that be your number three or is that your two. number one? Two. Okay. Casey's two. is a good two hole. Okay. As far as like convenience okay. stores go. I'd say Dollar General, I guess. Is your what? Uh, We're going to say Dollar General is a convenience store? Absolutely. They don't. Well, some of them have gas now, actually. Uh, you said truck stop or Sometimes convenience store. I mean like a corner store. Oh, you mean like one that has gas. Oh, Dollar General is going to be yeah. my number two. No, that's like a... That's, that's a the, convenience store. It's almost like in the... No, it's not. It's almost yes, like it a is. grocery store. They built it in... Well, they don't have these like, small towns because it's convenient. Stuff, yeah. Is its own thing. Listen, a convenience not, store is not the same thing as a convenient general. store. That's not yeah. the same. Yeah. Absolutely. He's looking at. It. I'm just asking: is, is Dollar General a convenience? A convenience store? store like has gas and soft drinks and. Yeah, everything there for you. You can go to Dollar General and get home goods. Dollar General is there, so that that all these people in these small towns who maybe don't want to spend all the gas money to go to Walmart. Yeah. Or, or, and this is not singling these people out because I look down on them, but 
there's a lot more EBT options for groceries in a small town if you put a if you put a Dollar General in there. That that is true. Apparently, it's considered yeah. a discount retailer. <laughs> it's considered a discount retailer. That That's is what nice. Seth just said. Yeah, Bubba Dollar Boo. General is not a convenience Retail. store. Retail. So what else you got, Ty? Then mm. you got anything else? I mean, you can say the country store if you want to. That's stupid. Why? If you're, like, I mean, it does have, meet all the, I guess it's a convenience store. stuff that would make it a convenience store or Jerry's place, either one. Yeah, that I, no, not I Jerry's prefer, place. I prefer Jerry's place now. I used to can for breakfast, definitely. Mm. For pizza, no though. For pizza, no, pizza is definitely place. a country store. I don't know any more of the country stores. Pizza is kind of. Wait, 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 listen. If you guys are gonna start ranking the country store in there, <laughs> I think there's some parts of it you have to cut out. Okay, you have to cut out the bank. And you have to cut out the retail part of it. We're talking about it's grocery. It's part. grocery. It's not retail. It's as retail as Dollar General. It's got yeah, a whole, I mean, but it does have gas. store. Yeah, but like you Dollar General has there. electronics. You deliver and, bread there. <laughs> yeah, but it's a gro- It's more grocery. It's maybe not a convenience store, but it's got groceries. I wouldn't say it's like. I a would put groceries bread. under the under it's the umbrella of discount retail. store. Yeah, you hear me? I mean it is. I, yeah, I agree with that. It's uh, it's under the umbrella of retail. So, grocery. what's your one, two, three? Like I said, Casey's. I put it like a two. I don't know. I don't really go too many places. <laughs> okay, fine, Tyrell. I don't. I don't. Yeah, know. just be obstinate. I feel about the same as Tyrell. This is not. I don't drive much, really? but I My, definitely I have this was a gonna... three, and I am going to take as long to talk about it as I Tate thought did. this was going to be a great top three. I, I have a, I have an okay. I, have I know, an but I just I'm surprised. Three. That. I'm sticking with Casey's. I like Casey's okay, for I'm number three. You're absolutely, just crapping on this whole ranking. <laughs> Two. I am saying strong, and I even though it's considered a discount retailer, I'm, I'm Dollar General. I'm going to Murphy's for my gas, and then I'm going to go get my snacks at Dollar General. I'll, I'll make two stops. Is Murphy your number one? No, absolutely well, not. Here's the thing: if I'm at Murphy's getting gas, and I have to get some, I have to get some like, some like short-term groceries you know nothing i'm just gonna walk into walmart because it's no 100 feet away oh okay <laughs> yeah, yeah no. true. okay no if you're on a road trip though you're not going to walmart you're going to dollar general you're right uh, uh, no 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 if i'm on yeah. a road trip i'm staying out of any dollar general why because i'm 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 comfortable enough with my dollar general I'm not comfortable with other people's dollar oh, generals. Yeah, yeah, I'm just saying, like, but if you're, hey, they're if you all, know they're you're popping going up so much trip. now that they're you're, all going to be nice. Every, every time, going to your local dollar general for road trip snacks, like that's the best yeah. deal. Yeah, you start your road trip at your dollar yeah, general. At your own dollar general. So then yes, that is my number two. Okay, okay. dollar general. Okay, my you know two. what? Whatever. Sure. All right, that's fair. Give that's us your number fair. one. My number one. I've never stepped foot in. Never been there. Boy, this is bad. But I have seen some amazing videos on YouTube about some buckies. Bug. He's saying buckies. Oh, he's a I sellout. Never, I've, I've he's, never even heard of it. He's I, never it's even It's a Texas been there. thing. Oh. I've never been there. But I, when when Bucky's can sell uh, uh, smoked smoked meat um, brisket, yeah, they have that brisket is like there. good enough that brisket people are like, you need to go buy Bucky's and get a brisket. It's good place. Hmm. Yep, Bucky's my number one. Texas. Okay, any, any everything's time, better in okay. Texas. Piece of cow that you get. So yeah, text. Bucky's, Dollar General, Casey's, done. I can't believe that. I can't believe Anthony's got the best list so far. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you guys are. Hey, listen, you drive the most of all of us, yeah. and then Tate, and then probably Tyrell, I, I, and then me. I just knew Anthony <clears throat> would have. I knew he would have uh, like an opinion, a controversial opinion. <laughs> Not I even mean, controversial. I drive a lot. But it's just back and forth to work. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's not like big chain convenience stores here unless you go to AJ's town. gonna have a story about a convenience store when him and Hans went up to Colorado or something. No, I don't actually. So <clears throat> No, New York. So listen, here's the three hole. Okay, no, I definitely wouldn't take a convenience store off. Here's the, the East official Coast. three of the podcast. Here's the three. Here's what the was, what was it gonna be? Oh yeah, three. Three I'm taking pilot slash flying J. Okay. Um solid. You, you've got them up there in in the truck stop category where you've pretty much the main competition you've got is Loves, and I think Loves is a complete disgrace. Loves is a funny name, though. I almost put it on my list at number three just because of the name. I, I agree with that. Loves, everything's extremely expensive for no reason because usually it's like 
like you've got a lot of foot traffic, a lot of business through there. There's no <coughs> sense in driving the prices up at a multi million dollar conglomerate such as Love's. And the thing is, every time I pass a Love's, they've got the highest gas prices. Well, see, I've been getting gas in Moralton on my way to Tulsa, and they always have the cheapest there at the Loves in Moralton. Hmm. But I like a Pilot slash Flying J better. Hmm. I, I love, which this is true for Loves too, but when you're, it's late at night, you're on the road, you need to stop, whether it be for the bathroom, you need something to drink, you need gas, and you see the shining, that tall, shining gas price sign, you know, in the distance, knowing that it's coming up on the exit, I just love that about a, about a truck stop. And I, I got to give Pilot, got to give Pilot the, the three slot there. Going to number two, we've all had them on the list. We're gonna, I'm gonna take Casey's at the number two. Um, good deals on stuff. Uh, they're always, I've talked about it before. They're always running like a, you know, buy two get one free on energy drinks stuff like that. I think I before said one of the cons of Casey's General Store was the donuts they look great not very good i said they're not very sweet the glaze on them isn't good shortly thereafter that maybe because of me i don't know maybe they listen to the podcast Nine thousand five hundred people are listening to us yeah uh i'm not yeah i don't know i may have moved the line on the donuts because they are great now and i've had them a couple times if recently you dislike them why did you try them again well i didn't it's not that i disliked it you i just always, thought it hey, missed the mark it's you like always, you always hold up honest standard of where you think things should be but you always have hope for the future that's why he tried i mean it's not like you don't like you wouldn't go to a fast food place that isn't your favorite one every time you know if you're in the casey's or if that's what's around and you're wanting a donut it wasn't so bad that i wouldn't eat it every single time yeah and and they're 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 decent but now i would put them up there i way above decent in the high i'd give them like probably a seven and a half out of ten on the donut scale um very good donut and then uh also usually a very clean facility which they're all usually new so maybe that's why but uh they're i mean they're usually well kept the employees are very friendly prices are good hot food is good breakfast like it you can't go wrong with casey's but what you really can't go wrong with in the number one slot and i'm stepping out into the in, west of arkansas here because i don't even know that we have any is Quick Trip, aka QT. QT. Anybody know anything about Quick Trip besides me? Up in Missouri, they have them. I've seen yep, them. But they've got them in Missouri. The ones up there in Missouri that are like up against the Mississippi River, nothing fancy to me. It. Oh, you honestly, don't like them? It's. I'm. I don't. I'm not saying I hate them. I'm just saying every time I look into one. It, it looks like somebody just rolled their muddy tractor through it. So you've never actually been to one? No, I have. I'm done. Oh, okay. Every well, go, it look, they look, they look, uh, they look a little worse for wear. Okay. Well, maybe the ones in Missouri are different, but usually the the ones that I go to are in Broken Arrow, Oklahoma, which is a very uh, upper middle class, um, kind of very clean town, mm-hmm. and. They have a QT on about every block. They're everywhere inside Broken Arrow and Tulsa, and they're just—it's just exceptional. Their soft drink section is unbelievable. It's huge. They also have in the bigger ones. They have on one side they have like soft drinks and like uh, slushies of every flavor you could possibly imagine, and then on the opposite side of the store they have like a whole tea and coffee bar, cold brew, all kinds of stuff that's all like in-house fresh stuff. Really good. All extremely cheap. You can get a coffee there for like less than two dollars. And it just a plain black coffee. You can probably get less than a dollar. The you can get a large this is what I get all the time when I go in there. They have their own energy drink, their own brand of energy drink called Rooster Booster. <laughs> and I get they've got a size of cup called the Big Q. It's like right in between a large and an extra large. I get a big Q rooster booster. And it is so good. I don't really know what. I have it... an honorable mention. Okay, go I ahead. Too. Okay. Okay, go ahead. Come and go. Come and go is a good store. I do respect. Solid. That. I do Solid respect store. that. Roadrunner and Heber because of the milkshake machine that they have. Yeah, Roadrunners have that. What is that called? It's just. A, I've never seen another one ever. But I for real, it's called for no, not for real. Uh, for real. 
real. For real, yeah, for real. It's nice. Yeah, they have one at the flash market in Southside. Oh, okay. I thought that was a. I thought that was a particular. I like, think you can uh, just order that milkshake thing and have it in your house okay. if you wanted. Really? Yeah, I've looked okay, at it. Okay, that's like just a machine. Okay, well, I didn't finish my yeah, big Q. You can get a big Q Rooster Booster for like a dollar twenty nine. All the soft oh, drinks yeah, are below two dollars. It's just an it's insane really deal. Great if energy drinks appeal to you, you know. And they also have like a lot of places. You know, you go to a convenience store to get like a bottled water. They don't have cheap bottled water. All you can get is like a name brand, like a Life Water or Smart uh-huh. Water, something like yeah. that. No, yeah. at, at QT they always have Ozarka sitting up there or Nestle for like a dollar. It's great. Oh, cool, 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 cool. If energy drinks don't appeal to you, you probably shouldn't have a list of top three gas station stops. You know, that's I don't think I'll like the it. transitive property does take hey, place. I'm agreeing with you. I, I don't have a very good list, and I don't care about energy drinks. So I was I was putting myself in this. Well, Anthony head. doesn't care about oh. energy drinks either, and he had a good <clears> list that seemed well thought out, even though I put him on the spot. He just took right off. Like, he didn't have time to think about it. I, didn't, I was going to let him have time to think. A true BSer. <laughs> hey, he jumped in there and said, number, number I'm going to go ahead with number one and say pilot that I went to one time. <laughs> yeah. Dude, it was like at the time when we pulled up to it, I'm pretty sure my stepdad said it was the largest truck stop in the world. Wow. And it could have been it could have been the largest truck stop in I don't know, Indiana, and I would have believed him. You know? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I think that's was, Bucky's now though, right? Bucky's is the no, biggest. It's gotta be. Bucky's, Bucky's is like, huge. They've got several Bucky's now. Every, like, so what's the hate for Bucky's? Out more gas than uh, it's a TikTok I mean, fad. I hate fads. I hate trends. Well, there's just a nice gas station. That's why it became yeah. a trend. It's right? a because tourist like, trap. Now he hates them. Huh? It's a tourist trap is all it is. <laughs> they have good prices for stuff. Yeah, but it's How like... You know? How do you know? Have you been YouTube. There? The same same people go to Bucky's that go to Branson. It's the same thing. Yeah. Well, here's, here's What's the thing wrong with Branson? And, and checking the prices. <laughs> What's wrong with Branson? They're good. My you mom just bought us tickets for Branson this year. So do our city tickets. Be, they could be bumping prices up by 30% than the stores all around them. Yeah, it's true. You're just looking at a microcosm of the, of the economy in... All right, hang up on it. <laughs> 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 all right, Anthony, you got any closing remarks? Um, microcosm. <sighs> Who are you voting for in 2024? <laughs> <laughs> I'm we don't even committing a few felonies, so I can't vote. <laughs> <laughs> I hear Joe Biden's got your back on that. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't worry. Commit all the felonies you want. You'll yeah, still okay. get to vote. Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, I don't think I have any closing remarks. I think, well, um, you you still going to be able to play on the twentieth? You know, yeah, sure. That sounds good. Okay, we never worried about you. You usually show up. <laughs> usually, there, there was that. There was that one time you were working on a roof or something, and you never yeah. showed up. But that's really and been the only you time. On a roof. You were working on a roof. Yep. Whose roof? Possibly your grandma's. I think. Yeah. Oh, dude, that was years ago. What the crap? <laughs> yeah, that was a long time ago. Were you playing that long? Yeah. <laughs> was that on the? That was podcast time, uh-huh. wasn't it? Yeah. It was, yeah, it sure was. Yeah, it was like, it was. yeah, we think they, Tate's coming. Nope, Tate's not coming. Tate He's never showed on up. Roof. Well, you did show up. It was just after the game was over. I don't know why you even came. <laughs> I don't know. I can't. Even, I, I can't. You just didn't want to miss out entirely. Yeah, I think that's probably it. Yeah. Uh, all right. Well, we're gonna let you go, and we're gonna finish the podcast, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. All right. Hey, everybody, take care. Yeah. Thanks for stopping Look by. Forward to listening or here playing again and and listening to me play again you know i'm looking forward to listening to me play again all right we'll talk to you later i'll talk to you later he doesn't even know why i'm laughing and you didn't even know what he was saying (laughs) seth took his headphones off well before the call was over (laughs) oh i almost forgot we were on a podcast there for a minute we're still on it we're still rolling Hopefully that all all those phone segments actually went to the computer. They did. Oh, yeah. Sure. Boy, that would be really bad if it didn't. <laughs> it's just us going. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> just leave it in. Just leave it in. All right. What else we got to talk about? Anything? 
Uh, you you want me to do oh. a movie minute? Well, I want I want to do on console. Oh, okay. What do you got? Um, you loved the Evil West game that much? No, Seth did watch me play that for like two minutes uh, right before Tyrell got here. Looked all right. I'll be putting some more time in on that. But no, I uh, I actually had planned for this because I thought we were going to do Satan in Common a lot sooner. Um, I had that in my mind. But anyway, I have EA Play because it's EA is pretty much the only one right now making racing games. Period. And um, I've got some of the Need for Speed games on there. And Need for Speed Unbound came out. I didn't think I wanted to play it because it's got like, just didn't look great. They when they when they made the trailers for it, they like put like this anime stuff into it. Like the characters look animated, but the cars look real. But then the car has like animations around it that are like cartoony. Like when you peel out, it like blows smoke. Yeah, like the cartoony smoke. Yeah, it's cartoony smoke. Your car, like when you go off like a jump, it sprouts wings out of it. Like they just look like they're drawn on. I thought it looked kind of cool. Fortnite, it's like, trying to be Fortnite. Yeah, maybe yeah. a little bit, trying to appeal to the younger generation a little bit. Which brings me to, it's not made. It's not like racing games used to be pretty clean. They're not making them clean now. Like the the music in them, they used to always have the clean versions of songs. There are so many cuss words in the music. It's like. You'd think you'd get a racing game for your 12-year-old and go, oh, well, you know, maybe there's, like, some mild violence and stuff. No, it's not GTA. But you can't, the lyrics are so bad in the music, like, you wouldn't want your kid playing that. Um, But, so, I got it for free because I have EA Play. So, I was like, yeah, I'll try it. And immediately, I I liked it. I mean, the the racing mechanics and everything, I think, are good. They're a little bit different than they've been in the past, uh, but they're pretty good. And there's a lot of deep... Uh, car customization you can get into like some builds and stuff um optimizing builds which is kind of cool because in the past especially since i've been playing racing games a lot back in the day when i was playing on ps2 and stuff it was all just there's one optimization yeah you like just upgrade to the top that's all you do and now it's like you can swap motors and use this these parts It's, it's pretty neat um but i was disappointed in it after playing the story because the story was first of all terrible not a good plot voice acting is bad the character that you play you can play as a, as a, a man or a woman i played as the man and his voice is extremely annoying and the dialogue is awful it is so bad because uh, most of the story there's not a whole lot of cut scenes there are some um but most of the story is like you're driving down the road and somebody calls you on the phone and your character has a conversation with somebody and it was really bad like just bad acting and I didn't like the plot. I didn't like the characters. And it seemed really short. It the the way it goes is like you're prepping for this big race to win your car back or whatever. And it's goes by weeks. And you play in the daytime, and then you play. You can play in the evening time, and you play a certain amount of races through the day. But you don't even have to ever get the cops on you. It's just if you win a race, you your heat goes up. And then the cops are looking for you. And everybody online is saying... Because it's illegal s- racing? Yeah. Okay. But the, the, you don't even you didn't even have to drive past a cop. It's just they're looking for you. They just found out there's an illegal race yeah. and they don't like it. Exactly. Not yeah. in my town. They so, found, <laughs> they, apparently they found out it's an illegal race and they found out that you were somehow you involved. <laughs> yeah. We're going to yeah. chase the, guy, the fastest guy. <laughs> yeah, and it's because you won. So if you win, your heat goes up. So then it's like, well, you don't want to have... Like, it goes from heat goes from one to five. Well, if you race during the daytime and you win three races, you might be at heat two. And then you go out in the night. You can barely even get to a race before you, you've got cops on you. Then if you win another one or two races, you'll be at heat four or five, and you can't hide. There's nowhere to go. And people online were saying these are the worst cops ever in any racing game. They're just everywhere, and you'll be like, you'll finally be escaping, and then one will spawn in mm-hmm. front of you, That's and you have nowhere to go. That's like Red Dead Redemption, actually. Really, does that it's impossible to get away from when you have high uh, warrant wanted levels. Like they just spawn in front of you. Yeah, I hate that. That is just it's so unbalanced, unfair. And then also, you can race all night and have like one hundred twenty thousand dollars won. And then if they if they bust you, you lose all of it and you start over. So through the story, you have like four weeks that you race, but you can't do unlimited races because your heat gets so high. So you race in the day and the night of each day, and then when you when you go to the garage for the night, it ends the day and you go to the next day. And you're like constantly having to try to upgrade your vehicle to get it to a certain place before the end of the day. And it's kind of stressful. You can't always do it. I think I had to play the last week 
you can replay the whole week. I had to replay the whole week because I didn't get my car upgraded enough to be in the in the big final race. But seemed really short. Didn't like the plot. And um, but then I played online, and the online is extremely fun. Even though when you play racing games online, there's idiots. And you know when you're playing other games online, and there's idiot, there's always idiots. Yeah, there's always idiots. But it doesn't online. seem to you know. It, sometimes it can be frustrating well, when you're racing, and there's people that will. Like, you'll be in front of them, and you'll slow down for a corner, and as you turn, they hit you full speed broadside, Mm -hmm. send you off the track, and you have to reset, and they make the turn. And they do it on purpose. They just slam into you. Yeah. Smart players. Yeah. Back whenever Red Dead Redemption 2 came out for the first time, I played that online for like a little while, back when it first came out. That game was so bad for griefers. You would go out in the woods... This, this is the way I was making a living in that game, was going out of the woods, killing animals, skinning them, take their pelts, and bringing them back into town and selling them to like the meat guy there. Well, I'd go out there, and I'd come back, and there'd always be people hanging around that dude for some reason, and they would shoot you, take your stuff, and sell it to him. And then just, well, that's how they were making a living. Yeah, yeah. It was so dumb, though. Robbers. <laughs> You just had to get there and just start shooting. It's like everybody. real life. I don't know what you're complaining about. <laughs> you should have joined them. <laughs> God. Wait for them to kill someone and then you kill that person. Then that, you're a, then that, you're a bounty hunter. <laughs> that right there made me like not want to play the multiplayer. That and the, there was one time me and one of my friends were fishing in a pond, and there was this random dude that just came out of nowhere Ugh, from don't behind. Get me started on fishing in games. Shot me in the back of the head for no reason. I was just minding my own business fishing, and they shot me in the back of the head. Well, then my my buddy there, he, like he starts shooting at the guy. The guy rides over the hill and gets away. He just disappears. Just shot do, me in the back of the like head. Do you like perma die? Like how does no, that work? Online? No, you respawn. It's just like I forgot. I think you lose like money or something like that when you respawn. Yeah, that's not GTA. Yeah. 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 GTA. Yeah, Speaking dude. of, seems like there was something else I was going to say about. No, I think I covered everything. On I mean, you're you're complaining about an EA game, which is funny because like a lot of EA, people are complaining. Everyone about hates EA. EA. Yeah, yeah, EA is not a very good game. Well, what's company. what's the deal? I, I just see a lot of people online saying they're just stealing they're people's money. To people. Yeah, they just they're only in it to sell expensive games they and then the monetize same. their games. And do you can you do you have the option to buy skins for your cars on that game? Or there, I'm sure there is. Yeah, I've never that, even been in that, the store. Yeah, that's yeah. EA. Yeah. The Battlefront 2, whenever it first released, I think you had, like, if you were going to unlock everything in the game, I think you had to spend over 2,000 hours playing the game in order to unlock everything in that game. But, like, you could easily buy your way through the game, though, and unlock all these, like, special classes and weapons and stuff for yeah. your, your characters. That's a yank. And yeah. that's what I was kind of talking about when uh, Dustin was talking about what his thing is, is people have turned on EA. Like, people... Yeah. Don't support EA. Well, maybe well, I that, shouldn't be giving them four ninety nine a month. <laughs> I just want to play a racing game. <laughs> and Rockstar's company too. That's that's another thing. They're the ones pushing that. Uh, like, what is it? A monetized, monetized uh, like on top of paying for PlayStation Plus or whatever, you're paying for uh, subscription have Rockstar Plus. Now? Yeah, like a subscription fee to Rockstar as well now. Just to, uh, just to be able to play their games at all. Ubi's been doing that for online. years. Ubi's there, been doing that for there's years. There's Ubisoft their, Plus. Yeah. But yeah, there is Ubisoft Plus. You don't Plus have to have Ubisoft Plus no, just to play the game. Right. And that's what I'm wondering about. And you can even play multiplayer without it, too. Because I, I, I played Wildlands and I played Breakpoint both for the longest well, time. Well, the EA Play is just access to a game library for $5 a month, and they're adding to it. And, that might not be that bad, right? And it's also, like, they have all the sports games, FIFA and uh, Madden and all those, and you can play them for uh, free. Do you, I, you, I miss NBA Live. That was. I was just thinking about that the other day. The two Ks replaced the NBA Live. They did. NBA Live was gone. NBA Live was way better. I agree. Back in the day, it was. I I had two K two. Um, I remember somebody, one of my friends, had two K three, and it was good. But like we had NBA NBA Live O three. I had it for the PS one, and it was great. Mm-hmm. The, the difference was like the NBA Live. You played teams, and then the two Ks. What is it, you play one player. one player. I don't like that. And I, I don't like the one player. It's so rough. Time. It's not fluid. It's 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 like playing Demon Hunters or Demon. Uh, Demon oh Souls yeah, the way they're all. Yes. Like yes. I'm gonna cross over and then you're out of bounds way yes. over here because you try the to... same problem yeah. I have. Yeah. I want to shoot it and they like lob it from half yeah. court. Yeah. yeah, I hate that. Yeah. I'll tell you a game that I'm excited for. Football's okay. Basketball's rough. That I've seen that, that's coming out. Have you guys seen the trailer for uh, Dragon's Dogma Two? Nope. Yeah. I saw that on PlayStation the other day. I didn't look at it. But I think it's coming out in March. 
I think of this year. Is it like just like a fantasy? It's kind of like Dark Soulsy ish. Not really. It's a single player game. I think. I don't think it's gonna have any multiplayer at all. Uh, but it's also got like uh, was it Shadow of the Colossus kind of style fights mm-hmm. for bosses and stuff too. So you can like climb on the bosses and stab them and stuff. Oh, yeah. It looks pretty fun. It's got. I'll really watch the crazy trailer graphics. on that one. Yeah, it's got really crazy graphics. Oh yeah. I'm I'm kind of disappointed that like. They've got all this ability now, and the PS5 is so powerful and everything, and we're making side scrollers in eight bit. It's regressed. I don't understand People what have is going this on. Weird fascination with the past, nostalgia. Well, it's fine to have those games, but I would. Why like are for we making least... brand new ones constantly? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it yeah, it just blows my mind. Like I, I want some good games to come out. Mm-hmm. What well, I mean, besides, well, you don't pay for them. Spider Man Two came out, and you didn't buy. Which I've heard that well, was I a will, big step I, down, actually, from Spider Man One. So. Really? Yeah, that's what I heard. Oh man. Well, I I do want to play. I I haven't, but there's nothing to buy. Like I've looked at. I was mm-hmm. looking last night at new games and pre orders, like just seeing what was coming out. And I was like, none of this interests mm-hmm. me. The Suicide Squad game might be kind of cool. But is was, it finally coming out? I think it's Lord, coming out. that game. They've been talking about that game for so long now. But people were kind of underwhelmed Gotham by Gotham Knights sucked. Like, yeah, Gotham yeah. Knights was bad. Hogwarts, I don't think, really no. took off like I thought it was going to. I think I've said this before, but like whenever they put games like t- into a testing phase where you basically are the bug testers for them. I know they have it's lazy. No, yeah, it's really lazy. It's lazy. It's ridiculous. What about Starfield? Has anybody... I haven't played it. I heard it was I, buggy buggy. I mean, it's... Yeah, a, I'm sure it is. I've cute. seen some pretty good stuff about it. And then I've seen a lot of the stuff, like what you're talking and about. Then I've, uh, yeah, and then like the maps compared to uh, the Mass Effect world maps. Like, there's really nothing there. Like, Yeah, so this is basically a big empty blank canvas yeah. of rocks. Yeah. Is, is Mass Effect, do they have good maps? Is that what it's Bad saying? maps. Oh, it's bad uh, But that's, that's back in PS2, PS3 right, land, yeah. you know? Yeah. Speaking of, of Rockstar, that, that's what, that was what I was going to say. Because... Nobody, Rockstar used to have the Midnight Club series, racing games. I love Midnight Club. I love them so much, and everybody does. If you look look online, there are people out there in Unreal Engine making trailers for Midnight Club 5 that's never going to come out and saying, well, maybe it would be like this. And it looks really good. And I'm like, yeah, Rockstar could be doing this, but they're too invested in GTA because it makes too much money. GTA's a cash cow. (laughs) And I don't blame them for that. And I, Red Dead's cool, like I. But like two of my my favorite Rockstar games of all time are L.A. Noir and uh, Midnight Club, and they those are probably never going to be made again. Anything like this, yeah. and it's really disappointing that we have to go to Need for Speed because that was not ever my favorite, and I don't like them mechanically. I liked I liked Midnight Club way better. I've never been into racing games. That's just not man. I, that's what I've. That's what I grew up playing. I still like to play them, but nobody makes good ones anymore. And they're all. Uh, I mean, Unbound has been pretty cool, but just the new style of them appealing to the younger generation for sure. And then the, a lot of them are just microtransactional games. I just want to unlock stuff. Have you guys looked at that new update that came out for Skyrim several weeks ago? No. no. Okay, there was a new update. It's like 15 gigs or 12 gigs or something like that for it. So I don't know if it came to... I know it came to PlayStation, but I don't know what all they allowed because it has like new stuff you, you can buy, of course, okay. naturally. So Bethesda's doing this new thing <laughs> where... How dare they? <laughs> How old is that game and you can still spend money on it? 11 years now? That's more? disgusting. No, it's more than that. I thought it came out in like 09. Now? 12 now? <sighs> See, it came out in 2011. It was 2011? Yeah. Okay, I was thinking it was 09. So it's 12 12 years now. Okay. I guess. Yeah. Anyway. So they... What can you buy? There's three items, I think, now that you can buy, officially so far, and they went up on the price since I last looked at it. Uh, What is it? The DLC? They're, yeah, DLC. So the old DLC. No, 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 no. Anniversary Edition has all of it, isn't it? Yeah, it has all of it and the Creation Club stuff. But here's the thing. The creation club stuff allowed you to have your achievements with having mods, basically. Okay. Because you, you buy the creation club, or you have the creation club with uh, Anniversary Edition. What this is, is something else. This is a new creation store. What they're doing is they're letting modders create officially approved mods that you pay for in the store. You have to pay for them now because you can't mod on PlayStation. So right. they want you to buy them. So, but people are making are like, them for for them. Yeah, and they're sell. and but they're just keeping the money. No, they're getting 
thirty percent of the the money that they make off of every time somebody downloads and buys the mod. But the creator of the mod is making yeah, they're making money every oh, time. Oh, that's okay. good. That's good. I thought every they were time. just robbing. No, that the is mod. the one good thing that they did because originally when they made a creation club. You made a one-time gig for Bethesda of creating that creation, and they get all the money every time that some every time that somebody buys it. No, I, I just like Todd Howard, and I'm become like Bethesda. Really, is not a good company. <laughs> no, not anymore. They, dude, uh, they've they've gone so far down. If they know. decide to be Xbox only, then I guess I just won't play I, the next Elder Scrolls. It, so. it's, it's going to be. So. It, it will be. All right, that's fine. I, I don't think be, I'll miss it's it. going to be, no doubt. It, so. Yeah, because they uh, Microsoft bought them. Yeah. It's yeah. there. No, there they, a, they they could. They could Microsoft would be really them. dumb not to because they're going to make so much money off of the PlayStation. I'm sure they could make a deal, with especially Sony. if uh, Rockstar makes the precedent 120 dollars for a game. Like if that gets becomes the norm, I'm selling my, my myself. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's ridiculous. Or just keep getting free stuff with the monthly. Which I mean, that's a subscription thing. Whatever, goodness. Well, I just I hate that these people that run. Well, these people that want to pay for microtransactions with their mom's credit card, all these little kids playing these games have ruined it for everybody else. But here, let me tell you about the, the three things that I saw that they came out with. So one of them is called the Arcubus. It is a gun mod for Guns Skyrim. And Skyrim. It is lore friendly by Bethesda's official saying. It's lore friendly. Okay. They the way they introduce it is through the Dwemer, of course. Naturally, uh-huh. if, you, if you want to explain anything weird and wacky, yeah, it's kind of like saying, Dwemer. "Oh, it's magic, <laughs> yeah. just magic, it's just magic." Yeah. So the other thing is, it's like I think it's called like Forgotten Dungeons or something like that, and it's a bunch of dungeons from ESO that they reintroduce into Skyrim, which that's kind of cool. I thought that was okay, but like you're paying like seven bucks for a bunch of dungeons with with stuff that's basically reused assets into the game. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, it's not even new. It's not even new stuff. Uh, the other one is actually really cool. It's a East Empire Company expansion, and it gives like the East Empire Company like its own actual faction that you can. It feels like the East Empire should have been a faction yeah. in the first place. But what it does yeah. is when you go into a cave and you conquer, kill all the stuff in the cave, you can go and place in the boss chest in there like this artifact thing inside the chest, and that like queues up for a member of the East Empire Company to come in, and they will set up shop in there, and they will send in miner teams of miners and stuff like that, and they will start mining, like a mining operation and all sorts of stuff like that, and they'll take the loot out, and they'll bring it back to a chest that you can gather all of it up That's later cool. on. Also, you make a cut of all the stuff That's that they're mining cool. out of there. That's well, that'd be fun. That'd be a reason to just run So when you go back to the thing, there. you see them in there working yeah, they, and stuff? Yeah, there's no longer enemies in there. It's that's, like that's actually cool. Yeah, so you right. can, like, if you have an area that you like to be around, you can create shops for yeah. yourself now. Yeah. That's cool. Actually. There was some other stuff it did, too. I forgot what all it was. But that one right there, I think it was like 12 bucks for that one. Whew. For that one little mod. And it went up. Like, they were increasing the prices since the last time I looked. Of course they are. Because that's what we do now. Rip off the common man. I mean, those Creation Club uh, mods, if you want to call them that, the add-ons, were expensive enough, like, depending on what you get. Like, if it's just a weapon mod, it's like two or three bucks. And if it was like a story mod, it was like, I don't know, anywhere from like seven or eight or whatever to ten or fifteen. I think that Saints and Seducers mod was fifteen bucks. Well, that's just in the game. It is now. It wasn't original. Oh, okay. It is when you buy when you buy an anniversary edition, you get it for free. Yeah, or, sort of. For I free. never completed it. I started that quest, and then it got too strong. Oh, here's the other thing. Oh, there is another one. There is another mod. It's actually a fully voice acted follower mod, completely voice acted. And I think it was like four or five bucks. And it was. Uh, it Can was, they die? No, I think they're completely immortal. But uh, that's dumb. <laughs> they're oh, a, I like that. They're a thief. Uh, aren't the aren't your normal followers immortal if you don't hit them? No, no. Awesome. Serana yeah, is. Serana yeah, Serana is the only one that's immortal. I thought Lydia was invulnerable no, if you I've, didn't no, do damage. I've, I thought I've, you had to be the one to finish her, even with magic or something on accident. Maybe something like that. Yeah. I, I may have by accident one time, but I know I've had Lydia. I know I had her once, and <laughs> and she died. And I think I had her a second time, and she died immediately. Like I <laughs> couldn't even. There, there is actually when, when you go to. Uh, all my fo- my followers die immediately. Those black books in Soul's Time, oh. when you go there, there's one of them. It's like one of the first ones you get, I think. You can get this one of the perks you can get. It actually makes it where you, no spells and no shouts do any damage just to follow. 
Like mm-hmm. while you have them. Oh, well, that would be handy. Maybe I'm the one killing them. I don't know. I am pretty. I thought that Lydia spread. was invulnerable except to you. No. Like she could get down. Yeah, they and all then go if down. you do damage, it could finish them. Oh, okay. Saran is the only one that's like completely immune, I think, to mm-hmm. like any damage completely. Well, man, I had a great time playing some Dead by Daylight last Monday. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Well, <laughs> I didn't you, get to play much. You know what? If you're available when they're playing Dead I'm by Daylight, much. you can. Cynthia play. actually was like, You haven't been asking to play lately. Thank you. <laughs> She, yeah, because you've bended to her will. Finally. Yeah, I've bended to her will. It's just the best way to do. Just happy, happy, happy wife, happy life. No, that's not how it should be. Oh. Happy husband should be a thing too. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> do you not agree? Yeah, but don't worry. She can't hear us here. She won't ever hear us. She's not going to listen. This is to this. the safe no, room. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, movie minute. I actually have another one besides the thing I said, actually. There was, oh, I was going to say, I was going to say one more on the console thing, was I think I have canceled PlayStation Plus before, mm-hmm. but I'm going to cancel them again because they made changes to their library, okay? And they also are going up in price. I think I grandfathered into this year without paying, because I'm on, on the premium one, and it went up from like 119 to 169 is what it's going to go yeah. up to. I thought that that went up a little bit, because I when I when I got mine, I got the essential pack. Yeah. I thought it went up like 10 bucks or something yeah. like that. Yeah, the, lo- the lowest level one. How much is the lowest one? 60 or 70? 70 70-something, though. Yeah, I think it was, it was 50. 60-something before. I oh, think. 60? It's 70-something. Okay. Well, then... I, the, I don't know. I next year I may not take the the top one because they they had the classics catalog. Well, I think they changed a lot of that to streaming. There's still a classics catalog. It's not very good, and all the games games that I had saved off of it all got taken away from me. That's weird. I didn't know that until the other day we were going to do the Borderlands stream, and I got on there um, to because I thought I had deleted it, like I needed to download it. And I got in there to download it, and it was charging me. Whoa. That's weird. And there was other games, too. There was two or three. I scrolled down through my library, even games that, that I didn't... You should have emailed them or something. I, I may do it and complain, because... But if I didn't have them currently down... Well, no, I did. I had... Board, no, I, I looked, and I had Borderlands downloaded. I could... Uh, once I bought it, I paid nine ninety nine for it, and then it said play game. I didn't have to download That's it. That's ridiculous. It was still on my PlayStation. So yeah, not only are they going to charge you more, they're going to rip the games out from under you, under you that you saved while you had mm. them in the library. Really, not not happy about that at all. I texted Dustin. I said, "Is something going on? Like that? I like am I is something wrong?" He said he'd check. I forgot to talk to him about it again. But you you bought it, didn't you? Because yes, I it was because I had premium was because the handsome collection was free. I, I bought it. I got the handsome collection, and then I got the uh, I got I got three for like nine bucks. Yeah, I'm honest. I don't want to nice. get rid of PlayStation uh, because of Dead by Daylight. Like, but I've bought DLC, so maybe I would have the game. I don't know if I would or not. Oh, you mean oh because you got it on a monthly game? Mm-hmm. I think that it wasn't a monthly game. It was it was part of their library. So if I quit pl- paying for it, I think I would lose all that. Because I Oh, if you quit paying for an online subscription mm-hmm. altogether, which one do you have? Do you just have the lowest one? Um, I don't know. Probably no, probably not. Probably one of the higher ones. Yeah, if if you stop if you stop paying for it completely. But I have yeah. bought DLC from uh so maybe you So maybe it. I would have it, I don't know. Because they had sales like on a Black Friday, yeah, and I bought a whole bunch of characters and stuff. Really, cheap. I bet they're like frozen inside that game, and you'd have to probably buy know. the game still. But then it would still it would have all your save data. Yeah, but I'd have to buy the game, yeah, I, I which would, would be cheaper than paying a monthly thing, I guess. It would be cheaper than pl- paying monthly. But yeah. I, I mean, I downloaded some games this time this month, and Tate's right, probably is a scam. <laughs> the I mean, if you just have the well, you have to have it to play online, don't you? No. To play with friends at all? Well, you just get you those games. You don't have to have the, the low one. Mm-mm. What is? What do you get on the low one then? I don't think it has access to anything besides monthly games and maybe trials. That's it. Yeah, monthly on the, games on the essential one. Yeah, monthly games and, and trials. That's yeah. all you get on the low one. Yeah. So you're paying. But you get those games forever too. Like I, I think Dustin has never once failed to save. He saves all of them. Saves yeah. every one of them, even if he's not interested in it. Well, I thought you had to have a PlayStation Plus Mm-mm. plan to play online. Period. I don't think so. Oh, you didn't okay. used to. Hmm. 
I knew back in the day they didn't because that's what they had on Xbox. Because that was what they had better than Xbox. Yeah, Xbox. You just play. I think you can just play. I don't think you have you to know have. Tyrell? I don't know. I, I, Tate didn't. He, he's not paying, and he was playing Hood and stuff with us. He did not pay. He, I thought he, he had was, Essential. I didn't think he did. Well, Hood was a, that was a monthly game. Is why we. Oh, got well, maybe that. he did. Okay. I I don't think you have to have. Oh. You have. Uh, oh, Google. Stand by. I'm not sure. Um. Yeah, there's just not really a whole lot of games coming out that I. Uh, I've really found no, that very. There's nothing exciting coming. No, out. No, you do. Sony Other has than, required like a PS said, Plus subscription for online multiplayer games since 2013. Yeah, you have to have at least the lowest yeah. one. Yeah, which that's what I got. Just the essential. It was at at one point in the past playing online was free. Yeah, back changed. in the day. Okay. So I wasn't completely crazy. Okay, well, tell me this, Tyrell. Uh, okay, you got Essential. Mm-hmm. I've looked at the benefits packages before. Mm-hmm. There's, no, I don't think there's any point in having the middle one. The middle one, I don't think it gives you hardly anything more than the low one. Uh, I think it gives you access to... One of the catalogs? Something. I forget what it is it gives The top you. one, you, you get everything. Yeah. I'm just afraid, yeah. like, if I have the low one, I'm not going to have, like... Access yeah, to probably, deals. I'm and in stuff. the top one for sure. If I if I had internet where I could constantly be downloading stuff, I might be getting whatnot. fiber soon. Oh really? I think it's past my house. I thought they were digging it, but apparently it's it's in the telephone poles now. Oh past yeah, my you house, yeah. Probably, is it the first electric one like mm-hmm. we have here? Yelcot. Yeah. Oh, they do it through Yelcot. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, no I'm Energy. Sorry. Oh, you're Energy. I'm first energy. electric. Okay. So they've got Yel- Yelcot is putting the fiber here. there. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so you, First Electric wasn't even a internet provider, mm-hmm. but they got teamed up with this Connect to First people. So the fiber's good. I can play whatever. Yeah, I can download. I so download can you stream that. even? You can stream games with the fiber. Yeah, I've played a couple, and yeah, See, it worked. I, I, can't I tried it with internet. my old internet, and it was kind of laggy. Yeah, I but, couldn't play stuff on there at all. Yeah, I tried you to play, had to have pretty good. Internet. I tried to do Sly uh, Thieves in Time, couldn't do it. Tried to play Arkham Origins, couldn't do it. Mm. Well, yeah, a lot of those games are good, good, but you have yeah. to stream them. Yeah, uh, I guess maybe it. I don't know why that would be. It takes up less space in their servers or something. Maybe it's dumb. I'd rather just download the game. Move a minute. Move a minute. Go for it. <laughs> Sorry. Disney Plus. This is a. I've actually went through and I've listened to all these books. I'm on the last book today of Percy Jackson. Oh yeah, I saw that. Because they have put they they the, the, y'all seen those atrocious Logan Learman and. Uh, uh, Daddario. What? Is, not Daddario. What is that girl's name? Uh, yeah, I think you're right. It is Daddario. Uh, Alexandria. Uh, Alexander uh, Daddario. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dar- yeah, yeah. Those movies were trash. They were horrible. Oh, I've never seen that. But the guy Rick Ro- Rick Riordan uh, teamed up with Disney Plus, and they they're making their. I mean, it's Disney Plus, so of course they made like Annabeth is black now, and and Grover's an Indian boy, and Luke is a Chinese kid. <laughs> Not exaggerating. <laughs> Looks like a picture from a college pamphlet. But it, other than the a little bit of race swapping, like the story is like really good. Like they are changing a little bit, but it's it's really true to the books, and I'm really enjoying it. Like it's coming out. I didn't know Tuesday. you were a Percy Jackson. Loved fan. Percy Jackson, and I'm I've been listening to him back on Audible now. I mean, they're, when did they're you, definitely. When did you read them before? Fourth as grade. As a kid, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I never read those. Probably not in fourth grade. Probably a little older than that. But did you? Are but, you done, are no, you done talking well, about that? go ahead. Sorry, do you want like that's all I was going to talk about Percy Jackson, but then you just want, like Yellowstone, the Sheridan, oh, yeah, Yellow. the Sheridan universe. It's expanding. I like it really. I mean, people, well, well, who's Sheridan? That's the Taylor director. Sheridan is the author and director. He was uh, a crappy little actor who was not making it and wrote a screenplay and for Yellowstone. No, I don't think that was his first one. It might. Might have been. I don't remember. But, like, he is a... He got picked up. He's got some big shows out there. I don't know. Like, Tulsa King with Stallone. That's him. Hmm. Um, that Jeremy Renner, mayor of something show. That's him. And then he's got Yellowstone, which has got... Um, oh, goodness. who Who's who's John Dutton on that? Um, Kevin Costner. Kevin yeah. Costner. Yeah. And he's really good. That's got five seasons. They're making another half season this next fall. I'm excited about that. People on the Reddit really like they complain that the show went down. 
I really enjoy it. And then he also did. It went down. Like, what do you mean? Like, like, down, like the first season is really good. And then it just, oh, he, okay. his, his writing fails after a while. And then he has some prequels, 1883, which has Tim McGraw and Faith Hill as the main guy, uh, too. R- fantastic. Favorite. It's only like eight episodes, but it's, it's really, really good. Really cool. Um, like, we were talking about, um, we've talked about. The Oregon Trail. This is pretty much the Oregon Trail. Yeah. These guys, they're they're trying to make it to Montana to find their home and like just the hardships that they go through. And it's that just was a, that's really on 1883. Cool. Yeah, 1883. And then 1923 has Harrison Ford mm-hmm. and Helen Mirren, and it's just they they're on the ranch that was built in the 1883 show. That is the same ranch that they're in in the Yellowstone show. So oh, it's just it's, all it's the yell, it's the, the Dutton place. family. Throughout the years, it's all connected. It's uh, all connected. <laughs> that's the t- that's the Sheridan universe. Yeah, okay. <laughs> it's all connected. So he's made a multiverse. He's making a multiverse. Yes, and there, it's not even a joke. Uh, he's making another season of 1923 with Harrison Ford. Uh, just a second season. That show will be done, and then he's making a 1940 something. I think so. <laughs> it's going to be. It's going to show the Duttons through World War Two. And then he's also Matthew McConaughey is set up to take a 2024 Yellowstone show that's about to be made. He's about to make a Four Sixes. Y'all know y'all know about the Four Sixes. Have y'all heard of that? That no. is a ranch, a real life ranch in Texas. That's just gigantic. Not the biggest, like the biggest cattle ranch is like King's Ranch or something. But yeah. the Four Sixes is a real cattle and uh, and horse ranch that they you can buy meat from the Four Sixes and you can buy horses and it's just it's crazy amounts of money. He bought that. He got so much money from writing and directing and uh, producing these shows that he, he is able that to whole buy a like. Two hundred thirty million dollar ranch. That might be a low ball. It might have been way more than that. But he owns this four sixes like historic Jesus. ranch of the of the United States. He just went ahead and bought. The he whole just thing. went ahead and bought it. Yeah, he made that much off of those shows. Mm-hmm. Oh my god! And he's now he's got a show coming out about the four sixes. All part of the Sheridan universe. I just I really enjoyed. It. I like I I went through them all. I've not enjoyed. You know how we're always like I don't enjoy something. I enjoyed those, and I just like went through them really fast because of how much I really liked it. Was Cynthia the, watch them too? No, the, just you. The language was horrible. Like they cuss a lot. Yeah. That's unfortunate. And there's a little bit of uh, nudity, but. But it's I just really like I like the 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 cowboy lifestyle. It was really cool. And then I watched a uh, a YouTube uh, documentary the other day called Unbranded about these four guys. It's kind of old. It's like six years old. But these four guys got out of college, got some wild Mustangs from the uh, uh, BLM, Bureau of Land Management. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, and trained them up to go from the Mexican border to the Canadian border, and they documented the whole thing, and it was very cool. Very cool little documentary. Right, you'll be coming in here with a cowboy hat on next time. I've got you? a cowboy hat at home. I just didn't wear it today. I'm a cowboy now. Have you been wearing it? No, I don't wear it. Okay. <laughs> got it off Timu. <laughs> <laughs> I like to see you walking through the chicken house with your cowboy hat on. But no, I'm like I really, really enjoyed the Yellowstone show. Okay, that's that's my movie minute. Okay. I started watching. Uh, I was going to watch the Fast and Furious movies all the way through, and I watched one through. What? What's so funny about that? I just started. I just watched the Mission Impossible's through. Oh really? Yeah. Well, I I went. I've never. I know there's a couple of them that I haven't seen. So far, I've. I know I've seen one through five. I I had seen all of them. I think maybe I missed six or maybe six and seven, but I watched 10, I think on one of the flights coming back from New York, I think. And and I was like, I don't know this backstory. (laughs) Yeah. I was like, who is this guy? (laughs) So anyway, I was like, I need to watch them all the way through because even, I mean, I started watching them well after they came out. Like the first one I watched was probably, it was probably five or six years old then. And we watched them, but then I missed them. And so I don't know what's going on. Um, so yeah, I was like, I'll watch them all the way. And I watched one through five, but then at six, they're not like, I was watching them on prime and they're after five, they're not on prime and you have to rent them. So I'd kind of quit watching them, but 
I'm going to get back in there and watch them. I, I, w- I wouldn't mind going through those again and watching them. But I did just go through all the Mission Impossibles except for the newest one that came out because I had to rent it. I don't remember people. anything about those past. I will say, I think Mission Impossible one. is better than Daniel Craig's 007. I completely agree. I, I've always... I've, I've, I've never watched... The, the Mission Impossible possible movies. Oh, I, I, I've man. seen, I They're think, good. two. I think the second one was the only one I watched. The but, third one is uh, is the one that got me started on them. Honestly, I think number one's the best. Like, number one's really I good. don't remember one and two. But it's cool because it's, it's always Tom Cruise. Like, yeah. It's always this, the same cast. The, the, the newest movies are actually connecting them all the way back to the beginning. Oh, like, really? This newest movie. I've not seen it, but I've seen How like, many of them are there? Like six? I think... Either six or seven is this newest one. Oh it was gosh. a part one. There's going to be a part two to it, and I think it's done, actually. Maybe. See, they realize they could continue these series, and mm-hmm. people would keep watching them, and yeah. now everybody's doing it, and there's yeah. just too many movies. Fast Nothing. and Furious. Yeah. They, we're up Great to superhero o- movies, huh? <laughs> For Fast real? And Furious. Yeah, I didn't know. They're ridiculous. Yeah. And I, back the when Rock I was, breaking a cast off of I, his arm. The Rock the pushing rock. a freaking torpedo away from them <laughs> as they're driving across an ice field. What the <laughs> heck was that about? Yeah, did we go watch one? All of us go together and watch Maybe. one? Maybe. And we said we were going to... I can't remember who went with me, and we said we were going to count how many times Vin Diesel jumped out of a car going 100 miles an hour. <laughs> Perfectly fine. He just rolls out of a car. He does it all the time, and yeah. he's unhurt. Yeah. <laughs> it's like you can't jump out of a car going 45 and not get hurt. Talking about the Fast and Furious, you know that both The Rock and Vin Diesel kind of had a problem with each yes. other because oh, I didn't know. It, a lot of it was because of they they have similar contracts in these movies mm-hmm. where they can't lose fights. Mm-hmm. It is in their contract <laughs> that they cannot look weak or lose a fight. I'm pretty but sure they have to fight each other. So yes, somebody has so they have a problem with each other because neither one of them's willing to to step down for the other one, and they actually have a problem in real life, not a joke. But like, do they still now? Or they I think did? so. Yeah, oh, I don't think my. they're in a movie anymore. I don't think that the Rock the Rock started his own spinoff with uh, Jason Statham, the Hobbs and Shaw. <laughs> yeah, thing? yeah, yeah. I don't think the Rock's going to be in any more Vin Diesel. Are they making any more Hobbs and Shaw? I don't know about that. I like Jason Statham. That's cool. I think the Rock is going to be in more Fast and Furious type wow. movies spinoffs. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh my goodness! But not with Vin Diesel. I don't know. But ain't that weird? Like they actors can't have it in their contract that they lose a fight what's interesting talking about this yellowstone thing with um uh, kevin costner it's in his he has a contract that he has to have a moral death that the that taylor cannot kill him in his writing for a bad reason it has to he has to be a good guy in his death which he's not a good character really <laughs> Like in the beginning, he's an absolute scoundrel, and they've kind of like tried to Kevin make Costner's him, character is that yeah, he says? tried to make him more of a family man and all this stuff, and it's kind of messed with the writings because you created, you showed us this character, and now you're morphing him into something else. Mm-hmm. But he's supposed to die off in this next uh, season, pretty early on for the last season. But it has to be a moral death clause. He has a moral death clause in his contract. All right. Are actors that petty? They're that petty. Well, I think uh, what's his name? The guy that played Venom. Um, uh, Tom, Tom, Hardy. Tom Hardy. Tom Hardy. Yeah. And Charlie Theron, whenever they played together in... Fury Road? Yeah, Mad the, Max Fury Road? Yeah, 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 yeah. They had like an issue with each other for yeah. some reason. I didn't, I didn't understand what all that was about. Yeah, I think Charlie Theron didn't like working with him. Which they're making a new... Why can't you just play the character how the director did it? Yeah, uh, the writer. Or the writer, yeah, the it, writer wrote the it. character. They're making a new uh, Furiosa movie. With uh, it's, a, it's a prequel. It's not got Char- uh, Charlie oh. Theron. It's got that... Um, Anna, Anna, oh, she's got like three names. Anna she, was in the men, she was in the menu. Um, oh, Anna Taylor Joy. Anna Taylor Joy. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. And it looks really good. It looks really good. Which I, I'm a huge Mad Max fan. I love Fury Road. Is probably one of my favorite movies of all time. Like, really? Yes. It won a bunch of awards at the time. Like, it's a beautiful movie. Just I liked it. Like, I well it acted. Good. Yeah. And it made me watch the old ones, which were not very good. I haven't. I have not. <laughs> I've never seen the old. The real. The first the Mad Max ones. was okay, uh, and then it got weirder. Yeah, aren't they just kind of like I, sci-fi, yeah. post-apocalyptic, mm. weird, yeah. twisted metal. <laughs> Which no one is into Mad Max. I swear, I I see this. The the bad guy from the the new one from uh, Fury, Fury Road, his mask and his paint and everything makes him look like Mel Gibson. 
I swear it's supposed to be Mel Gibson, <laughs> who was the Mad Max yeah, in the, the old original. movies. Like, so the the hero back then became the bad guy. If they did that, that's so cool. But I can't find anything. And I swear it is. It looks just like Mel Gibson to me. And it's a mask. It's yeah. It's like a mask. It's it, he has a breathing apparatus and like just the the way it smiles and the hair style. It looks just so like he Mel was the hero in the original movie. Uh-huh. Now it's not supposed to be like they're not saying that. Yeah, his, I think that they did that. That oh. character's oh. name is Immortan Joe. Yeah, Immortan yeah. Joe. Yeah. But I swear it looks like Mel Gibson. Yeah, it can, yeah, I can kind of see that. I can kind of see that. Let me just look up a picture of Immortan Joe. I went back. I actually watched the original Conan movie. <laughs> Barbarian. Yeah, and that. Uh, like, tell me that's not supposed to look like Mel Gibson a little bit. It does, somewhat, yeah. <laughs> I'm not seeing Mel Gibson there. I, I swear. Maybe the eyes, it's just eyes. It's the eyes, I guess. I don't know. I, I see Mel Gibson. Yeah, kind of there. The shape of the forehead. He does have yeah. like a real rectangular forehead. Yeah, I, it just it, it feels like Mel Gibson to me. And that's if that's what they were going for, that's really cool. That's a cool directing choice. Mm-hmm. I've never watched Mad Max. You not even Fury Road? No, I've never. Seen oh, Fury Road's fantastic. Yeah, you is should. Is it a standalone? Like you can just watch that? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Is that the new one? Yeah, yeah. That's good. the newest one. Yeah. Yes, it's good. I like. Have they made multiple be, ones? There's supposed to be a trilogy of it with Tom Hardy. I don't know if that's even still a thing uh, anymore. At no the time, idea. it was. Yeah. But uh, they they're making a Furiosa, which is a prequel to the Fury Road. Gotcha. But you don't. Okay. Have, yeah, no, standalone. Just watch Fury Road. It's really good. I'll have to check it out. Which the main character? I mean, Tom Hardy is. I would argue he's not even the main character, even though yeah. he's Max. Like I, the, maybe that was the thing that him and Charlie's there and had kind of falling out over. I don't know. Which she's a good main character, but also that other the the sick kid, you know, with the with the boils. Oh uh, yeah, he's. I would say he's more of a main character than, than witness. Tom. Witness me. Such a good movie. Yes, watch it. <laughs> I miss our movie nights. So us, us guys just getting like yeah, we we introduced AJ to Star Wars, Wars Lord Potter. of the Rings. No, I'd seen. You'd seen. Okay, we yeah. just watched them all together. Yeah, we went through all the Harry Potters, all the Star Wars, all the. We watched a bunch of movies. How many times were we getting together to do that? We a lot. I thought about that the other day. I was like, how in the world did we sit down and watch seven <laughs> movies or however many it is on the Harry Potter? Mm-hmm. Did we watch more than one a night? Maybe. Because they're not too long, some of the early they're ones. They're pretty long. Speaking of Star Wars, have you seen that Try they're it. making a Ray movie? No. A standalone Ray movie. Oh, I did see somebody. I saw somebody had said that. I don't know if it was the director or writer or what, but said they wanted men to be uncomfortable watching. Yeah. <laughs> that was yeah. their idea. Well, guess what? It'll fail. <laughs> what was this last thing? There was something that just failed. That was a, a blatant woman thing. What was it? Oh, she Hulk? No. No, I the uh, Marvels. Captain Marvel? Yep. The Marvels? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the Marvels? The, the Marvels. Marvels. Yeah, it had just blatantly failed. I didn't even Captain know that Marvel, was a thing. Uh, Captain Marvel, the other Captain Marvel from the other multiverse, the no. Uh, no. 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 No, it's it's uh that black lady. Yeah. Who, I thought she was like the other alternate, alternate uh, No, no, no. Oh, she might have been in the alternate, but yeah. she she got her powers in WandaVision. Oh, okay. I didn't yeah, realize that. Yeah. I didn't watch that. Yeah, she became a superhero in WandaVision. I didn't even know that was a movie. Is that even what I'm talking about, though? But yeah, that one failed miserably. Yeah, that was an all-female thing. Oh, Snow White is probably going to fail miserably. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because... Um, is she black? No. She's, she's Mexican. She's a... <laughs> Mexican Snow White. She's a very... But she's also... Hispanic. <laughs> but she's yeah. also just trashing Snow White. Talking, really? Yeah. Yeah. Because, like, we're not going to have a creepy prince who comes in and, like forcibly takes this girl this is no not that kind of story like yeah this on. this isn't the 1930s anymore well then make a different movie make don't make a, a snow movie. white yeah. and change a story somebody oh, wrote that do you know oh, about this the, that uh that ben Sh- not ben shapiro um what's their company called the daily wire, the daily wire is making a snow white yes, movie with so they're Bre- making a lot of stuff brett there. cooper with brett gonna cooper's snow gonna be snow white. oh no i knew that yeah. yeah yeah i didn't know that and people are like like she saying looks like snow people white. are saying this looks better than this disney mm-hmm. monster like the daily wire I, they're doing a lot of stuff i appreciate what they're doing I, I watched a couple of their movies and i didn't think they were good at all i've never watched any of their stuff I don't know. the run hide fight i wanted to was watch about that a school one. shooting it wasn't good that's the only one i wanted to watch that one a lot i watched the drug addict one where they were, she was locked in a closet. 
Oh, I think my mom watched that, and she said it was okay. It was okay. Uh, the run had fight. I think it had a lot. It seems like I remember it having a lot of language, <laughs> and like the acting wasn't great. And I, oh yeah, the, I didn't like the ending of it. It had a really brutal ending that it shouldn't like. I didn't feel like that was a good like. You watched the Prairie ending. movie that they made with the Watch the Prairie didn't like it. Gina at all. Carano, yeah. And you didn't is like that her it? name? I think yeah. So, yeah, yeah, Gina Carano, the yeah. one that was in Mandalorian. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, I didn't like it that much either. It was just violent and. See, I might have liked that because uh, I mean, y'all it's it's kind of your type of movie where yeah. it's you know like dark and doesn't really have like a happy ending or anything. Mm-hmm. It kind of did. It was okay, but I just so they wrote it the way that the writer wanted it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> have you seen the preview for Lady Ballers? I did. See, yeah, that's it's hilarious. <laughs> yes. It it, it honestly funny. reminds me of uh, Juana Man. <laughs> Like that was a yeah. real movie back then, and it wasn't being a spoof. I, I did see like, some clips from that. It was like, really funny. This got Tyler Fisher in it too. If you guys have ever seen him on YouTube, he's hilarious. Is he like a commentator? He's a he's just like a political? comedian. He's oh, a, okay. he's a comedian. He's hilarious. Aaron Rodgers, I think, did that. Really? Did an ayahuasca journey? Yeah. <laughs> Talked about it on Joe Rogan. Anywho, this is all getting cut out. South and uh, <laughs> This is just friends t- catching up. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, we thank you all for stopping by. We're shutting it down. Uh, like I said, follow us on all the stuff, and we're going to be recording on the 20th. So get ready for episode 40, blah, blah, blah. whatever, 45. Insert here. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye.